Yeah, I love when those uh, those talks are on the phone. <laughs> those are the best. <laughs> Word. And when it leads with with Islamic peace and words I don't understand mm-hmm. <laughs> to start the convo. He gave you the math? Yo, giving that to Rory is funny. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I like it, though. Yeah. No, no, Bring you into his world. No, 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 no. No Joe Biden. No 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 worry and my This part 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 Uh the <laughs> Microphone check one two what is this? Welcome to Ep I don't know. It's 308. Welcome. Damn, no, nah, that don't count, man. Some of these live shit's gotta count to something. <laughs> there gotta be a half. Mm. <laughs> That's bullshit, 308. Welcome to episode 308 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. I'm going to remix this intro off for the new year, too, by the way. I'm going to give y'all four. <laughs> you got four in the tuck? No, I have oh. to write it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, have, come and, off and, the let, and let me just say... Having to write a four is disgusting. <laughs> like having to get a pen and paper. Like you can't, just, balls. You, you can't, can't just formulate yeah, that. Right. Oh my God, that's yeah. nasty. Royce, help. Uh, uh, what was I saying? Of Ro- Joe Ro- and- Royce can't write a four. Royce is going to give you <laughs> 400. 400. Yeah. yeah, mentally. Exactly. Word. And then scrap it. Right. But nah, that ain't it. Yeah, that, that ain't the one. <laughs> that ain't the one. Uh, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends, we got Rashid Sunflower Mall is here, aka Flea for the day. <laughs> okay, Flea for the day. We have uh, uh, Parks here, who is white thought, but he is also half of done today. Mm. Yes, he's un. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> okay, and Rory can be duh. Mm. <laughs> and when together they can be done. Mm. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we have Rory here. Uh, A.K.A. Sunset mm. Who also When he forms with Parks Is Sunset Park mm-hmm. Yeah I, I like really that. like that Roy. Like free, Freestyled yeah. that on stage too. I know I was off the dome Now we saw where he was going with it <laughs> We took the culture there Last night with Yeah that. And they're also Race relations Yeah Y'all are mad shit hey. uh, We got STD to my far left How you doing bro You good Been donning lately Gave him the, gave him the yellow today Mm, uh, we, yellow with the big child. C mm. uh, <laughs> The big C You still do champion with the little C? Mm, nah. nah, hold on <laughs> I, 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 that. I see the little yellow accent on the shoes I see, where, I see where you took it Whoa. Whoa. Don't take the culture there Whoa. Don't take the culture there though Shit. That's not where you try to take the culture, though. Don't what a t- loser. <laughs> <Don't> t- <laughs> Yo, is that what you trying to match? Yeah, save all. I like it. I like it. Hint of yeah, yellow. Yeah, yes, nigga. Yeah. Yes. On the heel. Because you can't no. over yellow the situation. You got right. a very, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I B. learned from y'all, yeah, man. I see what he got. He I, learned I, from I like Flea. that. All right. It's a little yeah, sprinkle nah, of sauce. He, he, he learned from Flea. He, he did learn from Flea. Yeah, don't worry about it. So I see you, my right, yeah, so, so, so where were you taking us <laughs> with that? With the hat? Say Vaughn is most, with most the color, prodigy. Uh, with the, yes. <laughs> oh, he got a little gray. That's who he's growing too. in the streets? Woo! Holy oh, come shit. On, I didn't even peep. Yeah, man. I didn't even peep. Yeah, Joe ain't peeped out. He did the dark gray scully. I was like, he picked up the shoe. Dark gray in the shoe with the yellow. No, 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 no. That's called charcoal. You don't know. Ooh, I wouldn't, Rory. I wouldn't know. I yeah. wouldn't even know. They killed that. Then now, Scream Man, you gotta get up and walk down the runway. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you wear? We got Alex the Great, Alex the Satisfactory, whatever he is over there. But Scream Man is here, and it feels like just we're missing somebody. You didn't shout out Erickson. E-money. I didn't. Oh no. shit, Erickson is E-money. here. Oh, I, thought you were, I thought you were taking us somewhere. No, with no, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I thought you were about to I, I didn't want to interrupt. No, no, I, I forgot Erickson, and I mean, that's my bad. But that's not what I missed. Somebody else it just seems is, is missing. Rem, Rem's running around. No, Rem will be here. I mean, yeah, at some point, Chersey, Keel, Jiggle. In, you know, she'll do the worst so parking Cherzy. job I ever saw in my life in <laughs> oh, the to, driveway. To, to make sure both sides we can't walk down. Yo, fam. Yo, one day I want Parks to put his foot down. <laughs> y'all can't just go over go over your dude out and peep that he ain't putting his foot down in certain areas. Like yeah, parking. Parking. one day I had to yeah. climb over the car. I had to climb over the car to get out one day. Parks is crazy. <laughs> Rem just be parking that shit. She be trying to park it in here. <laughs> nah, I think she got beef with the neighbor on the low. <laughs> oh, that might be here. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. she just be reckless to the neighbor. <laughs> yeah. And I know the neighbor don't like that chick. She cursed no. me out one time. <laughs> Actually, no, a few I, times. I had to slide across the hood like Fonzie trying to <laughs> trying to be able to get into the crib. <laughs> Yo, that's what's dope about getting older. Like they don't give a fuck about you. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. Um no. So what what are we missing? 
I mean, Scream Man is here. He is. Savon is here. Seems like everyone's accounted for. I think so. Except for, well, who else do they work with that worked with us? Mm. Ah. Stephanie. Mm. Say Vaughn's work wife. Mm. By the way, who, you guys, you guys who, can't. You, who you, how, you can't employ your work wife with other niggas who need work wives. <laughs> like, because now it's like it's situation is sticky. Now, like yeah. she was cute to me. Yeah, <laughs> she smelled good. She gave good hugs. And She's I a hugger. I, I like hugs. I didn't huggers. even get the hug. I didn't even get the hug. Imagine that. Because I tried to keep it on the handshake tip, and she was like, "No, nah, like bring it in." I was like, "Oh shit, okay." I had my good Chanel on last yeah, night. Transfer energy. Yeah. Transfer energy. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's it. And I'm sitting there like, okay, I, I have to stare at Savon, unfortunately, because he's just there. Right. But instead... <laughs> yeah, got a little treat. I could stare at Stephanie. Got a little yeah. treat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I text Savon, yo, bring me a couple waters for the mean greet. <laughs> Stephanie popped up with five waters. I was like... Oh, my God. I should have been thirsty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Wait, that could have been me. <laughs> you water. should have been thirsty. <laughs> I was like, okay, Stephanie's in town. Okay, all right. Well, she she in the building. I'm, well, Stephanie couldn't join us today, but make sure you tune in to her. Yeah, tell Stephanie yeah. you said thank you. Yeah, we, and it yeah. was a pleasure meeting her. Well, tell her that I want to tell her thank you. I'll yeah, do that. I got you. <laughs> you, gotta I, uh, go through, you. Gotta go through Savon though. Yeah, yeah, clearly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. clearly he yeah, ain't send the number. Yeah, no, no. It's always that friend. Look, 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 got flavor. He ain't send the number off. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> what the fuck is you doing? Right. Uh, I caught the need to know meet and greet uh, on my way out. Oh, me too. Me too. Yeah. Wait, was there one? I, yeah. I walked into it by accident. Yeah. Oh, you on, weren't even invited. On no, on my way out, the the exit to whatever side of that building it was. Yeah. I walked out. All three oh, of yeah, them so standing and, there. Me and Roy walked out together. Yeah. 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 Need, need need to know meet and greet. How many people were in? A lot. Yeah. Yeah, they was deep. Steph was the only oh, one that wait, said wait, hi. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I didn't even peep that that's what he was doing. I thought he was really asking you how many people were in there, but you said a lot, and he, and he said, a ton. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that, Savon? <laughs> and was, I don't know. The, they didn't catch it on the mic, but when you initially brought Stephanie up, his voice went a little higher than usual. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she was in there. <laughs> yeah, I know what that means when a dude voice do that. I know what that means. Yeah. Um. All right, so how y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? I feel Good, great, Be- Beacon yeah. Theater, sold out. We did that. Savon took a work trip in New York. <laughs> <laughs> it's the vibes. I like it. <laughs> I almost yeah, respect it. It's like, powerful. No, I respect nah, it. That's like powerful. when you call Shorty up and say, yo, let's go to Atlantic City. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a trip to Atlantic City is nasty when you live in New nah, York. chill. That's a good trip. Yo, let's go to AC this weekend. In the winter, chill. You know, man, <laughs> chill. You know, you know, sunset got the timeshare. <laughs> hey, you still got timeshare in 2019. <laughs> Having a timeshare in AC. <laughs> Yo, don't talk about my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Pop be busting it down the turnpike. <laughs> uh, all right, so y'all are feeling good. How was the show, man? Come on, talk to me. Get the people something. Great. Touch man. the streets. Talk Great. to the people that were unable to attend and have to live vicariously through pictures and stories that they hear from you guys. Let's hear it. What a beautiful night, man. What a beautiful Great, night. Great man. night, man. I can't I still can't believe that so many people came out last night. That Yo, was, man, that it, was amazing. This shit started in a basement. No, right. it, did. A brown, it did. It started brownstone. brownstone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brownstone. Just, yeah. just a couple of friends. Right. right. That's game, it was a game night. Wanting to yeah. talk. Right. Yeah. It was a game. I, I hate when it, yo, <laughs> it was a game night. Yeah. I hate these Ducey niggas, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think you get some resentment because game nights was kind of your shit and you never took it to the Barclays. Mm. You still in your living room playing taboo with the same seven points that you get every round. Yeah, yeah. Mm. that's true. And seven points is a good round. So that's a really good, good round. round. I'm, I'm giving you credit in my but, in my but yeah, insult. Yeah, my game nights did kind of die. Now that you mention it, yeah, you fell off. Nah, but you moved today. We back. Oh yeah, that's a fact. I'm excited yeah. about that. Get the homie back in the in the neighborhood. Streets bike. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Niggas know what he did. Niggas know what he used to do. <laughs> See, look, this is why I'm fucking I with didn't you. say, I just laughed at what I, you said. I know, but you never like to <laughs> co sign it. I'm laughing, I can't but, laugh. But that's not a co sign. You, you don't know what it a is. Laugh, I laugh. A laugh is not a co sign. It, it could be. It could be. It could be. When? In what situation? Be. Maybe in this situation. I'm only I'm, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm I'm reminiscing, that's all. What you gonna do when the magic come back? What you gonna do when you, you get that first taste? What you gonna do when you get that first taste of the magic? <laughs> I don't want to taste the <laughs> magic. Hey, well, hey, pause. Yo. Come yeah. on, man. What the y'all, fuck? What's on my rap? 
<laughs> All right. I'm going to give you some magic. Pause. I, leave me alone. Yeah, man. Yo, y'all. Yo, shout out to the YouTube viewership. <laughs> shout out to the Spotify viewership. The, the Spotify viewership. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Shout out to the Spotify listenership. Shout out to the YouTube viewership. Shout out to our first and last time listeners. Shout out to everybody that came out to support us on the road, whether that be New York, Baltimore, Philly, or your shout respective out to all city y'all. last time shout we was on the run. Uh, sh- just shout out to all y'all. Shout out to all y'all that make your significant other listen. Shout out to all y'all that be going through dark times and the podcast helps pull you out. Shout out to you niggas that download this shit before you get on a flight. That takes dedication. Yeah. I admire it. I have never done that, and I want to. I want to. So shout out to you guys. I'm going to try that. It's back when we was on the run. Look at Maul being on the run and then on the run. Hmm? <laughs> Look at the transition. Yeah, man. Growth. The range. The range. The range. All right, so, so who's good at telling the story of what happened yesterday? You guys are really, really funny. I would just, Let me just say that. I don't know how y'all kept that a secret for as long as y'all did. How long did, y'all, how long did y'all plan it? I had to shut the door of my dressing room next to yours to plot that. Of, of the whole stage question. What did you do? Go to X videos? Mm. I turned the music up and was whispering into Keeb's ear when it was just him and I in a room. <laughs> oh, can y'all tell the other million people what y'all don't want? So we brought a porn star out on stage for Maul. Maul. Well, Un- adult, unbeknownst. unbeknownst. Adult, adult film star. Adult a- film star. Adult inter- right, entertainer. Right. Classy you're right. lady right. parks. Yes. Very classy. By the yeah. way, awesome Phenomenal girl. actor. Yeah. Yeah, phenomenal wow. actress. Are you going to do that to Maul? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about her professional career. really disrespectful. Yeah, I was kind of I'm disrespectful. Not. It's been very no, disrespectful. I'm trying to, you know what I mean? All right, so Jada Stevens. Oh, J- my God, the one Jada, and only. Jada Stevens was on stage for the love of Maul. He had no idea that this was happening. None. Uh, and she killed. She did. We flipped it. We made her ask him the questions. I thought that was a nice twist, and she did great. Yeah. yeah. yeah she that smelled was, great. That was, that was a good freestyle, Joe. No, you was in your bag. Yeah, she, she, uh, no, I, I couldn't. This couldn't have been possible, but possible without her, man. <laughs> yeah. She, she did, she did what it did. See, that's why you gotta fuck with uh adult entertainers, actress, actors. And I asked her, right? They're just she, cool when they're supposed to be super cool. cool. They ain't all, you know what I mean? And and you, and you know we get nervous with people that aren't part of the show, relying on them, right? So I was uncomfortable for writing questions just in case. <laughs> Like, really uncomfortable. <laughs> and I went to her, I said, you good to ask the questions? Like, I got some just in case. She said, no, I got a full list right here. Bro, said, what were your questions? Say less. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Maul's favorite color. <laughs> Relax. I'd love to hear. I want to know the questions. And, and I'm sure they were good. See, Parks, you didn't come to the Horrible Decisions Live podcast when Rory and Maul got on the stage and, and had a, a do a dual sex off. A sex mm. off. It wasn't a sex off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a, we you were gonna trying lie? to. Wait, you gonna lie? We were trying to see. Are you gonna? Who are fit? you gonna lie? I'm trying to explain what <laughs> happened. Was it a sex off? No, you got you. Right. You can't just say Rory, sex off. Was it a sex off? Can you believe that the impeachment went through? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a sex Yo, off. Yo, and y'all was sitting in the crowd like. Y'all knew y'all was going up. You're like, y'all was telling you. Yo, Rory had the battle of eight on stage? Yes. That's tough, man. No, these two two are much smarter than I thought. (laughs) We we know more porn categories. Yo, they brought, Mandy brought them on stage and started asking shit like, what is a, and I'm freestyling because I don't know what any of that stuff is. No, she was trying to ask us. What is is a xenophobia fuckaholic? <laughs> Fuck a hog. Uh, <laughs> and Maul was like, Yeah, my Friday night. Maul said, Bing! <laughs> oh, that means. I'm like, Wait, wait, you know this? <laughs> and then Rory knew, I had a sex off. What happened was, <laughs> Mandy and Weezy asked if I would do their QA shit with them. And because I love them both to death, I said, Of course. And we were all there. So I went up there. No, I and only went Ma- there to support you because you hit me early in the day and said, Yo, I got to go do the sex off. <laughs> I would never. I might need your help. I would never hit you yo, yo, lying, for the bro. sex off. <laughs> <laughs> the sex off. Yo, why do you think I was then, there? Then they then they said, "Yo, Maul, come up here," and I was like, "Great." And, and I said, "Maul I is Maul. never gonna do the sex off," and he jumped out. I couldn't wait for y'all to say my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, I'm cooler than you. I know niggas, a lot of porn man. categories, man. No, y'all are smart. Yeah, who won? I did. You did win, right? Mm-hmm. So eight. Whoa, look at look at memories. Just. <laughs> It's kind, of, it's kind of crazy that you just immediately said you won. Yeah, because mm. we had to. You, it was who knew the most and without stuttering. I think you trying to say like I that. stuttered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you what? fumbled on the next word. You couldn't really. Yeah, because because you, you knew it too, but he hit it first. Mm. That's what yeah. happened, and that, and that's how and that's how you won. 
I hit it first. <laughs> Yo, one day I'm going to I'm going to get one of the women that you're intimate with in a room alone so I could probe her. Whoa. Wait, why do you want to probe women that I sleep with? <laughs> Don't, wait, what do you mean by probe? Alex, what's up? <laughs> I do. Why? Do you realize how weird that is that you want to probe a woman that I sleep with? Mom, well, I'm weird for I know, way but I'm more. saying do you know how weird that is. And probe has multiple definitions, I, I'm by on the way. Same page as Parks. What do you mean by probe? Yeah. What does probe mean? Uh, Are we talking about the literal definition? Does it mean more things? Yeah, uh, oh, a blunt-ended oh, no, surgical instrument used for exploring oh, oh, a part of <laughs> oh, the no, body. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ma, I don't want to use an instrument on her. Oh, I mean, like, ask questions. Wait, uh, probe doesn't mean that. It it can, but I, even more, why would why you yeah, want to ask a woman that I slept with questions? Well, I want to ask the women that all of you sleep with questions. Why? Because <laughs> it's hilarious. Are you no, it's me? not. That's yes, weird it is. As fuck. Well, well, that's fine. But when you get past that, it's hilarious. It is. No, I don't You're know. eight. You knew the definition of mad words that I didn't even know had to do with sex. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Yeah, I want to ask questions. So why don't you just ask me? <laughs> no, because men niggas lie. That's why. Nah. You got to get the truth from Big a girl. Big facts. All yeah. niggas you do. Think women don't lie about their sex lives? Not to a nigga. Shit. But then plus if you get the male not to and a nigga the girl. have nothing to do with Shit. that. Shit. If, no. if you get no, both no, sides, like women, then you can start to find what's the truth. Yeah, I'm not rolling with them all. Yeah. Women lie about Everybody their sex lives. Everybody lies about their lies. sex lives exactly. to a degree. Exactly. So you'll, get everybody. you'll get the truth from a woman but before you get it from a dude if you're a dude. I don't know. Nah. Really? I think it's a Venn diagram. You know, you got to get both responses and then find out what the truth is. Women lie more about their sex lives because of society standards of if a woman sleeps with this many guys or does this she's considered this like can I, re- can, can, I, can, I can I rebut yeah but yes before you do that women will only Fuck. do it if they still <laughs> if they still like you like they'll shoot you some bail if they still like you would, you could you would fuck her the best you ever had <laughs> and if she don't like you it's gonna be whack oh yeah she's gonna say it was whack yeah yeah it's always gone sorry buddy why did Rory do that oh what? <laughs> my bad fuck fuck Lost your train of thought. My bad. Joe can't remember shit. Oh, you lost your train of thought. And Rory knows that, and he was like, "Hey, before you say it, (laughs) oh, oh, gotta gotta gotta." See, no, no, yeah, because I think I thought you was about to start with some of this. That may be true, but women are emotional too. Men are are too. Well, we're not doing this. Men are very emotional. They are. All right, men are mad emotional. All right, forget it. Actually, I'm ready to say in 2020, men are more emotional than women. Look at look at Maul trying to get the Drake line off. No, I'm, I'm t- <laughs> bro, I'm telling you because you Men see how certain dudes act women over women. Days. <laughs> <laughs> like once you see how once you see how like men yeah, act. That was just a song, Maul. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm I'm going off experience. Fuck a song. Like niggas are emotional over women. Very no, emotional. No, Maul's Maul's not wrong at all. Let Maul let Maul explain his point instead of repeating it. What do you mean? Cause you, you just keep I mean, I don't know how to explain. Like, men are very emotional over women. Like, but why? But, and it be women that ain't even their women. It's like, fam, she don't even belong to you. That ain't your girl. That ain't your. But dudes be really mad. Like when they see a woman that they like giving another dude some play. Like it really like they get mad about that. Mo, we didn't have fathers. What, what, <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Now you pardon, no no you pardon now. <laughs> and I, nah. I'm, I'm with you. You pardon now. No, nah, that don't mean that. That means I, everything. No. That doesn't mean you be emotional over women that don't. Yes, it do. That's yeah, exactly yeah. what that means. That's exactly yeah. what, what that means. It's a tendency. About? It's a tendency. It's not a tendency. No, man. Like I just said, when you're dudes ra- that when have you're raised by dudes a that, woman, dudes that were raised by both parents, parents are emotionally. very emotional. Like that doesn't. No, that doesn't. That's not what that means. Yo, Mamal <laughs> is so dismissive of anything outside of his. <laughs> no, I'm just saying because dudes that have both parents, that I'm talking from experience, they're way more emotional than dudes that would just. Raising a single uh, parent household. Well, it depends on what their parental situation was like. Was there like? Of course, you know, there's things. There's that a lot add of factors. To it. Yeah, there's a lot of factors. You ain't gonna just say that like niggas that had both parents ain't emotional too. Like no. Well, how many people do you know with both parents? A few. I know a lot. But like, what's a lot? Uh, I mean, no. I mean, you know, like just close friends or just yeah. no in general. Uh, no. Like your your people. Uh, say about out of. Let's just say out of 10, maybe 6 out of 10 have both parents. Okay. Yeah, like if I say 10 of my closest homeboys, yeah. I would say that that's pretty high. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not as, don't get it twisted. I know a lot of dudes too that don't have 
You don't sound, in that, but that's why I asked you because you don't you don't yeah. sound like it. You no, sound yeah, you, you sound like you just got mad friends that got both their parents, and I'm sitting here quiet like. Yeah, I have a lot. I have, I have, I have quite a few friends that have. I'm counting that my white friends don't have both their parents. Yeah. Right? But I got, but, but, but even a race me, like I got, I got, I got it's white homeboys. No, not at all. I got white friends that don't have both parents too, though. But I'm just saying, I do know a lot of my friends do have both parents though. They okay, but you don't. Okay, but you don't understand at all, or you don't see a correlation at all between a man not having a father being raised by his mom only being more emotional than a man uh, with both parents. I mean, you I'm not saying think, it's you impossible. Don't think, you don't think that, that, that it's more likely than not? Let, let me word it just a, a bit different. Still having those emotions, but being able to control them differently by having a man to teach you how to channel man emotions. It's exactly what yeah. Method Man said about me that I came in here a few, a few months ago and, and said. He said, if my dad was there, then I might have handled it differently. But because I was raised by my mom, I was in touch with the emotion of it and... We're all emotional. You're right, but, yeah, but naturally, it's, it's yes. But I guess the point emotions. is, how do you go about? How do you? How do you handle that? Right. Yeah. How do you handle yeah. your emotions? Because we're yeah. all emotional, absolutely. Yeah. And how that's what I get from like what you're saying about. But uh, just because you, you talk about a- when you talk about niggas, that's <clears throat> emotional. Like I know niggas are emotional, but there's another word for what I'm hearing you describe. Yeah, I grew up with my father, and he would check when I was young and doing the first falling in love and all the girl situations. He would check me like, "Yo, you don't do that." <laughs> Like, don't yeah, but, act like that. Don't do that. She's not a good person to stick your dick in. But let's not act like it ain't some niggas running around here with bitch-ass fathers, too, though. I mean... No, that's like, a fact. We ain't, ain't going to just say just because a nigga had a pops in his no, crib. You, his pops was G'd up. That's and why he I was, said it. No. He, he, he ran his house with a stern <laughs> fist and all of that. Like, no, your pops was a bitch, too, no, nigga. Like, you get it twisted? Yeah, yo, man. When, that, when that's true as well. Yeah, it's very true. It's very true. That's why I said there's a lot of factors, because some people's fathers weren't shit. Yeah, like, your pops wasn't shit. Like... We ain't gonna say just because the pops was around, like, oh, he was Ray, you know what I'm saying? He, he a man, he a man's man. <laughs> well, <Okay>. and none <laughs> that nigga's a, he's a, he's his pops was soft too, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. You grew up exactly how you supposed to. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah, you your daddy's child, nigga. Your daddy was a sucker, you a sucker too, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you talk about, Yo, nigga. Paul is ruthless, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm just being honest. Like, he's, I know niggas that have wrong, both. No, 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 you're right. Like, though, I, you're I, but they pops was like, you could tell they pops was in the he house. I'm like, yo, why your dad is pops? No, he's not wrong. I'm like, yo, why your dad was be walking our conversation? No, I'm just saying, because y'all make it seem like. No, no, no. He turns into the worst possible. No, 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 no. Because y'all making it seem like if a dude has. Yo, what if he did that? Yeah, but his dad was a bitch. I'm like, yo, yo we talking about the niggas with good dads, bro. <laughs> no, you can be a That's good dad. No, I'm saying you can have you can be a good father and raise your kids right. But I'm just saying it's like and don't be a bitch. Yeah, but don't yeah. make it seem like just because daddy was around, it was like I right, he was raised right. His pops was tough on him, and you know he gave him that because it it's like you got to have know how to love and you got to be tough. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but I know some dudes who fathers. I'm like. Come on, man, your pops, your, your mom's run him. Man. Now you know what we we have in this conversation, but but let me let me just give whatever generation that is. I give the credit to. I don't I don't I don't remember the generation, but I'm really proud of that stigma. I feel very different about that stigma. Like today, I don't witness it What's so stigma? often. Like I see a lot of men actively trying to be fathers. I'm not just saying that. From, oh yeah, and I salute from, that. From my experience, 100%. but it's just very different from when we were raised. Always hearing, all right. Yeah, dad is out. Dad went to the store. Dad's not coming back. Dad's in jail. Dad is this. Right. Dad is like today. Like niggas is actually. actually I'm, I'm asking you about how many how many of your friends you know with both parents. Out of ten, seven of my guy friends, killers, mm-hmm. <laughs> crying, <laughs> like <laughs> breaking down because they having problems seeing a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? No, yeah. and that's and that's one thing I, I I want to salute though, like because I'm at the age now where if my my homeboys don't take care of their kids, I don't fuck with my homeboys. Reasonable. Like I'm at that age. Like I'm like, yo, you when last time you seen your kid, you saw your kids like, and if you seem like you yeah. just ain't on this, like uh, you, no, I can't it, fuck. with it you. It looks like some sucker shit now. Yeah, like I can't fuck with you, my with nigga. Like I'm too old to be hanging out with niggas that don't take care of their kids. Like I'm yeah. not doing that. Uh, if we 24, this- 25. It's like we still young, trying to figure life out. But once we over 33, 34, 30, and you still don't take kids, like, all right, you just a clown. You a sucking nigga. Oh, I, yeah, of course, I, despite I, when the baby mother makes I, it hard to do. That I'm say, was my question. No, what more saying, you, and I agree, you, is no, I'm not, I'm not, it's people that are actively trying. Like, right. I, I, if you I respect the people trying, that are trying to be in their kids' lives. You still get the same respect. Yeah, but if you just, like, you got a baby mom that's cool, and she ain't giving you that hassle, and you just ain't 
around you, it's like, ah, oh, you a clown. Yeah, because that's it's, it's, it's the biggest, it's the clownest behavior you yeah, can have. Because that's that's the thing I do be I do be feeling the women on. Like I be riding with dudes, but then I see a few chicks say, "Fam, I'm keeping them from you." Word. <laughs> yeah, like dudes love I'm, to I'm, throw that out I'm, there. I'm keeping them from you, or, or you ain't, or you ain't pick them up. Right, right, <laughs> right. Or you right. ain't come through. Like, right. you want me right. to get to talking? Right. <laughs> a lot of dudes have got off the "my baby mother is crazy" line when she wasn't. Yeah. yeah. As, yeah. an, as an excuse to not be a father. Yeah. A lot of yeah, dudes like, have fam, got that off. We know your baby moms. <laughs> like, she out here every day. She's yeah. solid. Cool. cool. Yeah. We all grew up together. Whenever we see like, the baby. The baby yeah, I'm about to say, I see, I see your kid all the time. Yeah, he's, doing, like, he's doing well. On, you should man. probably talk to him. Right. <laughs> yeah, that would help. Yeah, no, no, but I am proud of that. I'm super, I'm super proud that that is, I just feel different about it today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look um, how we started off potting, man. We were potting. This was a good. This was a good. Yeah, start. that's a good like, start. We like started it. with the live show yeah. and ended up with fatherhood. <laughs> and the then, range, and, and the range, the kings. <laughs> <laughs> we are the kings. Though, and, di- and didn't even really, <laughs> didn't really get into the live show at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that live we, we we got into to Jada Stevens. Uh, us bringing all Jada. favorite point. We all do, nigga. No, no, no. Y'all got to stop being disrespectful. Like, I love Jada. Okay. <laughs> nah, you can't tell me who I can't love. No, I love her too. No, no you don't. Not it's, like you. Did you yeah, guys? Exactly. Uh, so it's not sincere. Did you guys go out for a drink or anything afterwards? No, no. No? no that's you exchange math? No, I'm all at work all yeah. over that theater, man. <laughs> okay. But if, me and Jada communicated. Hold on, hold on, like, hold on. Now, now, now's your time to make up for the cash store shit. Can I, we get Jada on the pod mm. and make that your, like your task? Yeah, she loves the show. Yeah, she'll definitely come on. But you got to text her. I'll text her. Bro, you okay. got questions you want to ask her? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have questions I want to ask more via her. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, scream man, what you doing? <laughs> come on, son. You guys, come on, you got all out there like that. I wasn't paying. I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't paying. You're disrespecting her. Yeah, how you got my. How you got Jade out there like that, man. Take that off the screen. I, I wasn't paying Jada Jada too much mind because I was trying to be professional and do the show until she sat on you and started getting busy. I was like, fuck, man. I'm so mad now that I, that now I know it's her. Cause I was like, are they, they y'all playing? I know I'm you think, always playing. I, yeah, yeah. I was you like, oh, they got a midget a, on my lap. Well, that's that's offensive. <laughs> a little person, uh, a tiny person. Little, I think. Little person yeah. is tiny, what they you. Tiny is offensive. Call. It might be. I don't know. They, oh, come see, on. So, okay, so now you. <laughs> guys, now you all right, welcome guys, to my team. Little welcome people to my team. is little. what they is what they'd like to be called. Yeah. So oh, we can't say the M. So it's called the M word. Tiny would be offensive. Yeah, exactly. Tiny is offensive. So what would it like to be called? Little, little people. Okay, I thought you had a little person on my lap. Okay, she was little. She was little. Yeah, but I, I thought it was, I, I thought it was little, little. Like, <laughs> thought she was littler. Yeah, I thought she was. <laughs> I thought she was little, 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 little. But that's my issue with you, honestly. And, and and if if there's any tension in our relationship, then please feel free to share it in this very safe and private space. But I've been feeling away for a little while, honestly. About what? Well, first off is when, on Monday when you started feeding the blogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was, what else? Well, it's a source. They listen. I mean, what else? They, they gave him photo credit. They put the yeah. camcorder emoji by his name. Camcorder. Yeah, room. Y'all can't be putting the camcorder. That was shot by Maul. Yeah, it was not directed a by a Maul production. <laughs> I haven't seen a camcorder in years, first of all. May V B. No. No? <laughs> no. You definitely may V B. No, I'm not. I think you are. <laughs> I'm not. And yeah, Shade Room, stay off my page, man. But I'm you good. fed them you fed them though. I fed my that's algorithm. Where, mm. And that's where they got it from. But they could stay on my and, and then I learned it by pulling my phone out and seeing <laughs> while it was hot on the couch. You, you put me in a sticky spot. You did. Oh, my put, bad. You put but me I apologize st- for I, this. I know, and I accepted it. Okay. And, and because you're my man, I accepted it and moved on and thought nothing of it again until last night, man. And then what happened last night? Gave the blog some more some more fodder. Me? <sighs> oh, did I? Oh, yeah. Have you not learned? I didn't post. Uh, did I post something yesterday? I didn't why, even post nothing yesterday. Why you bring my baby mom on stage? I didn't do wait. <laughs> I didn't do that. I was on stage with you. Not letting you do that tomorrow. Did, did, no, of course he didn't. Of course he didn't. Okay. Did you get off? Hey, you. Do the math. You want me to take, think about it? You want me to escort your baby mother off stage? No. But okay. Did, so what are you asking me right now? <laughs> but you didn't know that last night. So did you? No, I didn't. No. Do the math on it. In a moment of honesty, I thought that y'all think had about that. It. Think about so, it. Yeah, I thought it was kind of playing. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought like I, I y'all may have had that set up. I would up. never do that to my brother. Yeah. We we fight. That's I mean, why I went. Yeah. That's why I went we, with it. Like Joe, I turned around. Me and Joe go through our ups and well, downs. No, I thought Joe and Sin worked. That's out. why I really fuck with Rory. I would never do that. <laughs> Honestly, no. I thought I, for real. I thought y'all I thought worked that out. You now. I thought Mona might have been there. 
<laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, just that whole kissing styles thing. Like, you should be my man yeah. more. <laughs> no, I, I thought I really thought because Sa- Rory's a little because Savon is the one that brings the the, the the women out. So I thought that y'all had that plan. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know. I thought it was a Moto Scott production. Yeah, I thought y'all had that plan. No, we're not going to no, get into kept, the deeper, darker far away. criminal I, I, link on I what kept, made I it I kept Mona Scott and her friends far away. <laughs> and her friends. <laughs> the camera hey, crew. Hey, Mona is always around, brother. Always. <laughs> she, she might have been <laughs> she, has brother. Footage, she has footage from last night. <laughs> Y'all got, but no, I'm not even mad at my baby moms being on stage because that's my baby mom. No, no, right. Sim, Sim was cool. Uh, yeah, man. but y'all Sim was great. Funny, but Honey Dip was up there too. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Lord, that's where it was. Giving like. the streets too much. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> <laughs> Jammed up. <laughs> Is this a case of Mendices having his cake and eating it too? Because when he wasn't with Yandy. Was he with Erica? Yeah, the funny shit, I can't even say no more Erica, on this topic. Would I'm he be out. back with Yandy? <laughs> because if both women carried to term, the pregnancies would have some overlap. Yeah, I'm cool. Because sometimes you don't say nothing and that's saying enough. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with Rory? <laughs> <laughs> Why does Ice have this in your Serato? He wasn't outside for J.R. Ryder, Jim Jones, Honeydew. <laughs> Mm. Nah, this was the jam. Yo. It turned down a little bit. And while it was on, <laughs> Honey Dip was all right. Yeah, she, she was, like she was very pretty in person. Yeah. 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 Well, I meant she's just Her personality, kind. yeah. Yeah, kind. Yeah. I didn't get to talk to her, so I'm just objectifying. But you can just tell from, her personality. From what I, like but you can tell her. Yeah. <laughs> You no. can tell from her jeans. Yeah. <laughs> she's like a sweet, a sweet I'm girl. I'm joking, by the way. <laughs> She like a sweet girl. She like a sweet girl. Yeah. No, she was sweet. Yeah. <laughs> who who picked contestant number one? Savon. <laughs> Yo, Savon be trying to get his shit off on the low. That's a fact. Yeah, he's damn, nasty. Damn, that clip just now is why I got to start going hitting the back machine. Like, niggas never know why they need to hit the back machine until they see another mm-hmm. nigga back this nice or look at their back. Yeah, my back. <laughs> you look at another yeah. nigga back. Oh shit, backs do that. <laughs> you got shit all up under your little. Right. And it don't even be the. It's like this part. Yeah, you got you mad. Just be like, oh wow, that's, why, why your I'm back fat. Got all them indentations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you're not a large. You, you're probably an extra large. You look at my <laughs> back. There ain't no indentations. I got. I got the back machine. All I ever do is make sure I can. Th- <laughs> as long as that still works. As long as you can that's your work out. That's all that matters. That's it. Uh, but no, I want to thank everybody that came out to uh, the Beacon Theater 40 minutes in. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank everybody that came out. Uh, I want to thank everybody that worked there. Uh, great, great crowd. Great everything. That was a, a f- yeah. awesome Great employees. Show. Really good time in New York City, man. It really was. All right. Um, Just them, them pants was hit. Now nah, go back, Scream Man. Let me, look, yo, let me but, look at my drip. Yo, fucking <laughs> uh, look at my drip. Nah, nah, them jazzy, them jazzy pants was nice, man. Yeah, yeah, you need. I'm gonna get you a second. And and, and, you, nice. and you see now they laid on the on the kicks. Come on. Nah, I see it. <laughs> nah, that was nice. Yo, fucking so so last night we're about to go. Well, two nights ago we're about to go on stage. Um, right as we're about to go, we, we went on at uh, I want to say eight o'clock. 8.45. Eight, yeah. Well, we were, we're supposed, supposed to, to go, go on at 8, 8 o'clock, and we go on when we're supposed to, guys. They don't have to know everything. <laughs> 8 o'clock is when we... <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, when the news broke that Tori was supposed to do an Insta Live at 7, and when I say news broke, I mean Rory said, yo, we're going to miss the live. Rory's the news. Yeah, Rory's the news. Yeah. But I was angry at that. Like, I wanted to see what he had to say. Yeah, me too. And then he didn't go live, and he didn't say anything, which had everybody saying, well, what's going on? Which made me go back to the two times before the post where he said, yo, if something happens to me. Damn, they took his password. <laughs> password. <laughs> they just go shut his shit down. Yeah, yeah. Password is at least of the things they about to take. <laughs> yeah, I would love to know what is going on. Like, I really, I, I was going to tune in. Me too. And I think it's corny when dudes be like, yo, at 9 p.m., Insta Live, be there. I'm spilling the tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exposing things. But... <laughs> Yeah, I was mad he didn't go on. Yeah, I was. Oh, nice. wait. Hammerstein? Tory Lanez and Friends Chicks tapes live? Oh, I'm in there. Sorry. Just yeah, read anyway. Nigga, you could have just been in there for anybody. You like you like Hammerstein. <laughs> you just go for the venue? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, know, I know the bartenders. <laughs> oh, well, that's the reason to go. Yeah. <laughs> by, by the way. I don't know if y'all noticed. You know what? Never mind. No, come on. <laughs> no, what, no, what you notice? No, we're not. No, 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 no. I ain't noticed nothing. 
<laughs> I ain't noticed. <laughs> I ain't noticed nothing. I ain't noticed. Diddly squat. <laughs> uh, so we never got any inf- no, information. No, we don't have any right? information on what's going on between uh, Tory Lanez and Interscope. We just know Tory's not happy and Interscope's not saying anything. Okay. I told y'all he wasn't. Well, I thought he was still going to do the live. I said he wasn't going to say nothing on there. Nah, if he was going live, I think he was going to say something. I thought about that too because uh, Tory is now like, uh, like mainstream. Yeah. Like he's yeah. been mainstream for a little while. Tory is underrated I know, and I on know, his promotion. Tory is really good at promoting. I normally so that's assume, why I thought he was just doing something to do it. I normally uh, <laughs> assume that the mainstream guys will never walk on that that ledge. If you know what I'm talking about, yeah. But Tory has a history of walking on that ledge for sure. So starting his career I with it. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what to expect. I don't. I don't. I don't think this is just a stunt. I know it's not a stunt because he told me this shit months, uh, a month ago, whenever that was. I don't have the the industry insider info that you got, but <laughs> nah, Jay Leno knows. <laughs> you can ask Jay. Come Jay on, told man. you. Right, nah, well, he ain't even want to bother Jay with with nah, that. Right. I, no, I have to talk to my mom. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> got to your mom. Yeah, Yo, you mom, what Jay mom. said about this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you ain't got the direct. Nah. nah. <laughs> the gotta, direct. Gotta, gotta, my mom is the middleman. <laughs> All right, so we'll 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 keep you posted with this Tory Lane stuff because I'm glued. I'm yeah, glued I'm curious, to it. Yeah. I, I do want to know what the issue is. And that'd be dope if you could just talk some shit and get the label to pay you a check for not talking shit about them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think that's what happened? No, but I think no, that, I that possible. Happen I think that's what should start happening. Yeah. Well, I don't come in here. I don't come in here and kill Spotify. They don't pay me for it. Yeah, that's true. But. It, it helps. It isn't you in a, a business relationship with people. It kind of helps that you're not some way just talking about, you know. That's why I don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Look it at helps. mature Joe. Yeah. Oh, Joe. Listen, I've been down that road enough yeah, of yeah. talking shit about your employers and not being aligned. That <laughs> never. That never. That really. was your bag for a decade. Yeah. Quiet is kept. That was your rollout. I'm. Yeah. I, yeah I'm. A, I'm one in forty nine in that. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, nah, because toward the end, I started winning that shit. Like, Complex lost. One, one time. <laughs> <laughs> they lost that one. <laughs> Get your one, my dude. I got my one. Yeah, that's all. That's, um, a, that's a good one, though. Yeah. That's a good one to have. That's a good one. Complex ain't been the same. Not for nothing. And, listen, if you're going to lose the E1 battle and win the Complex battle, <laughs> I think you're doing all right, bro. Yeah, I, I was dog <laughs> shit Balance. coming off that E1 contract. Yeah. Jesus, man. But life, look at life. Got to reflect. Got to reflect on all of this shit. I, I do that a lot on on show nights. Mm-hmm. On show yeah. nights. Yeah, I did that last night too. There's a lot of different emotions. Yeah. going into the show. And yeah. and not only that, seeing people that you were around. Yeah. Back back in 2012, 11, like when uh-huh. we was bugging the fuck out, Joe. Mm-hmm. And then seeing them now, you like, shit, life is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I fuck with Mandy kind of so much. Mm-hmm. Because of that, just that right there, like. I know where you come from. I know where we come from. I know where this has gone. And mm-hmm. now just to look at it today, get that shit, baby. Get it. You got you got to support shit like that. That's yeah. a fact. Absolutely. I think that's a large part of why people support us. Like, yeah. I'll never take for granted. They watched it. At the, exactly. They watched it. They watch it. They're a part of it. Mm-hmm. They, they grow they, with they it. They feel it. Yeah, they, 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 can, they can see the growth in it. Pause. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I never take for granted at the end of the shows. And trust me, we didn't come in here to fucking suck our own dicks about a great show. But yeah, no. Uh, but I never take for granted at the end of the show when I, when I think it's over and everybody's dying to get to their car and get home because that's what I would be wanting to do. Mm-hmm. And they just come right to the stage and start giving it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That never gets lost on me. Yeah, me. Yeah, no. That's why no, I make that's... sure I, I make sure to do that after every show. Like, same. Because I know it's a, it's a thing there. Like they, it's an attachment. You know yeah, I mean? people people watch us and they listen to us weekly, and it's like like you, even last night you could feel it. Like anytime we was about to say something, the crowd already knew what we were about to say. Or, you know what I mean? Like little quotes and shit. Like and it's just crazy. Like to see people, three thousand people on the same page. Yeah, like that was that was that was dope. And at the end when you chop it up with them, it's such a compliment of how bright and smart they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where I'm like, mm. oh shit, we have like a really really intelligent audience. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Y'all are smarter than me. <laughs> but it takes like, a, they say such great things to me and such enlightening things that it just makes me appreciate our audience more. But it well, takes I a told y'all that podcast fans are Yeah. They're, they're really bright. It's a different yeah, it's a different yeah. breed. 
Yeah. It's a, it's a special breed. This is not those music peasants. <laughs> 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 Shout out to the music peasants, too, though. Oh, yeah, I, I, I was, I was, I am still one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm about to say, Parks, you're a yeah, music peasant. And, and Ian is too. Yeah. yeah. I am too to a certain degree. Yeah. Like, I'm, I, I lost some love for, like, hip hop. Yeah? Yeah. Because it's, it's so much bullshit out there. Like, it's a lot of bullshit in rap. You can just put your foot into some shit you love. That's, which is that's, why, that's that's how you which why I talk about Griselda so much. Right? I, get, I, get, I get jealous of the niggas that ain't lost a little bit of love for hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, like, you wish you didn't? Yeah, I do too. Like, like, see how Parks just said that to you? Like, yeah. damn, word, mom. Yeah, like <laughs> I'm looking at him. Yeah, like, like, yeah. But I think Joe, you would have fun making music if you just made it to have fun. It kind of goes back to that Andre conversation. Like, if you just did it just to do it, you know what I'm saying? No pressure to put it out or try to aspire to anything. Like, let me just do this shit because I love it. Mm. I think you would have a lot of fun doing it. I think you would have great music come out of it, whether it got released or not. I agree with that. I think I would have fun. Yeah. I don't think that. Like for you to I don't know if that has be, much much to yeah, do I with have what, what to do with but I think you would, yeah. hip hop. I think you would love hip hop more if you were creating it still actively. That's all I'm saying. Like if you're still doing it, you would also find people that were making it with the same kind of passion and have love. But the for creation it. of it is what made me lose it. What do you mean? You said you you said you think I would I would um, have more love for it if I were still creating. Right. But when I was creating it is when it started to deteriorate. Well, that's it because when you were creating it it was it was a job. Was you a had job. to you had to do it. Yeah. I'm saying if you did it now just for fun, I think you would oh, okay. it would be oh, just to create, love for yeah, it. Just yeah. to, just and I think you would art. listen to other listen, people I, I, that, oh, do, that do the make music with the same integrity, the same love, and find people. Because that's what I do. I, I listen yeah, to what I like. I'll never really be the fun music guy, I'll be honest with you. I'll put it this way. I, th- I love pain music. I think it's well, hum- no doubt. That's fun, though. That's true. I love pain music. That's true too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get joy yeah. of that. Yeah, me too. You're right. I think it's hilarious now when people... Come to me as the R and B guy, and I'm like, fam, I'm at the core. You're done. I'm a hip hop nerd at yeah, my core. You're done. <laughs> You're sunny. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I lost. I lost some love for hip hop. But I will say this era. I do love that this is the biggest era where you can tune out the bullshit the yeah. most. I listen to it all once. You, and you then can go easily to... focus on just the hip hop you love now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't have to focus to find the hip hop you love. You don't have to go through the bullshit. You right. can just find it, which yeah. I think is beautiful. But yeah, I've, I've, I probably lost some, love, is, some it, love for hip hop. It's beautiful, and it is a process. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. It's a process. What, finding the stuff you love? Y- yeah, or, or just looking for shit that you love. Yeah. It's a lot to sort through. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And that's why, you, know, you remember I used to kill playlists? There's a few things. I had to make a list of the things that I killed that I get. Mm-hmm. Like, I hate that more holds that over my head. Because he was there when I was killing tight sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that, honestly. Why? Because I don't think it's fair. Why? I just like to do it because you were so adamant about like shit that you be like, man, that shit is whack. That shit is, and then to see you like full fledged in it now, I'm like, yo, <laughs> pointy shoes. But this, and yeah, but this is what I was trying to, you know, what I mean, like tell you four, five no. years ago, like, yeah, I'd be late on some things. It, well, we all are, we all are, but I just have to poke fun at certain things. I love things. tight sweatpants because when because when you <laughs> and, jump and in it, you playlist. go all the way, like and you go playlist. all the <laughs> way, yeah. All the shit that I hated at one point, I love. Yeah. Playlists are great. I understand it now. I didn't know that they was putting out 10,000 songs a day. Right. I didn't know. I was yeah. like, what the fuck y'all doing that for? Buy the music. Right. Store yeah. it. Have a library. Why don't you? It's like, nah, we can just have all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is such an addict in every sense of the word. When he went baggy, went baggier than everyone that, that was around. <laughs> Yeah, when, I was tight when, when they. He, when yo, y'all ain't got the forty sixes. <laughs> that motherfucker went tighter same, than though. anyone could go. Wait, fam, you're not telling niggas about all the forty fours. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, out, I'm out then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take my business elsewhere. Wait, the bottom of them jeans is only twelve inches across. Nah, <laughs> twelve inches across. <laughs> yeah, I know. I do get mad. I had to catch myself earlier. They posted a, video, a clip of, uh, I mean, a picture of Joe and Envy. And yo, Joe cut had me a off. sweatsuit on. <laughs> that was a big ass sweatsuit Joe had on, man. And that was only like four years ago. <laughs> My bad. I ain't oh, I seen that picture. Yeah. The nasty times. Because I was late to that point, too. I was like, no, they, they don't see you on the radio. <laughs> 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 Nobody's going to see me. Yeah, why did I think they don't see you on the radio? That's exactly they, they, where they yeah, fucking see they you. They don't see you on the radio. Bro. Look at this guy. I hate me in every part of my life. <laughs> in every single part. 
And I'm so mad that the world is improving as I'm closer to death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's, fu- that's, that's fucked how, up. That's how it goes. And I see the world. Give- Every time I drive over whatever this bridge is, the parks, I look over to the right, look at the sea. <laughs> whatever that is. The sea. It's the river. <laughs> it's just the river. Nah, it's the East River. Nah, it's, it's the East River. It's, it's not the prettiest river. I promise you it's not the sea. Nah, it is the sea. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a sea of dead bodies. It's the Queen Sea. <laughs> it's not the Queen Sea. It's the Queen Sea. <laughs> it's not the Queen Sea, my nigga. Nah, but I look across the sea yeah. and it be them new ass buildings, man, fancy lights. I'm like, yo, they getting this shit. They getting this shit popping and killing us. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah, it's depressing nah, a little bit. It's it's cool. I think our future is doomed. Oh, I, th- I think we was all right in the era we in. Oh no, yeah, I, I think I think Snoop gonna come through and crush the buildings <laughs> no, for, for the future. Crush some for condos. The yeah, crush the condos. <laughs> I do think that in like in like two thousand and seventy seven, because that's how sick I am. I'm I'm in my head like trying to see how old Lex and. Trey will be when I'm having many years gone. But in like 2077, I think everybody's going to be on Earth, minding business, chilling, the grocery store, Rory's kids and shit with their wife. And it's just going to be like a mass alert. And to Mars now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what I think's going to happen. I, th- I think y'all going to have to abort this shit. Y'all fucked it up. Well, we, yeah. it's us. Yeah, us humans. No, we're making it so they're going to have to abort this shit. Oh, that's a fact. That's a fact. We're killing yeah. the planet. Yeah. All right, what do y'all want to talk about? The president got impeached. Uh, what else is... Rory's got a whole list. I don't have shit. It's not really a list. I mean, are we going to keep it a buck about the impeachment? It's some bullshit. <laughs> I don't think he'll get removed. From nothing I don't, I don't, nothing I don't, is going to happen, guys. Yeah. I'd call like call me a, a pessimist. I'd like Nothing's to see a trial. Happen. No, a trial. No, a trial has to happen. Yeah, I just want to see that. But that's going to be more of a oh, circus it has to be a trial. Yes. the other shit. Yeah. Yes. This is the one time you can actually get to play yes. this properly. <laughs> this is all I this is all I heard in my head right. while it was happening. <laughs> it should have been the sound. Uh, I was like, oh, tra- let's tragedy? go, Ra. Nah. nah. It's Rakim. Oh. And peace the president. Oh. I was thinking about the It's the song. It's the, the same. tragedy Qaddafi. It's the most sampled impeach, song of all time. Impeach probably. the president. It's up shit. there. Hey, hey. Is, is that is that that's a James? Fuck it up, White Thought. The honey drippers. All right, come on, Pars. We gotta talk. Yeah, yeah. Podcasts are killing the value of music. We have to talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Uh, so Trump got impeached. Round of applause, I think. Uh, let me hit it. Let me yeah. hit it. Let me hit it. Where's that? Where's the mouse? There we go. Uh, Trump got impeached. I watched it. I did too. I did too. Thought it was entertaining. Yeah. It's a fucking and circus. Then it, it is a circus. Yeah. Yeah. It, Anytime you watch some shit that the government does, it's like, y'all know different than us. Right. They're just saying shit. It's all nasty. They're just saying shit and doing shit. Yeah. But it was entertaining, uh, and when it ended, I had no idea what what was next. Uh, They go to trial in the Senate. Yeah. The trial should be fun. No, it's going to be some bullshit, because the Senate is all his people. All Republicans. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but that's going to be fun to watch. Yeah, it's going to be interesting how they play it, because I guess, like, the House can withhold the documents for the Senate for as long as they want to, basically. So it's going to be a bunch of bullshit, basically. So the trial can't even basically start until the House gives the Senate the paperwork. Yeah, but wouldn't we want to give them the paperwork? We got mad shit. Homeboy ended that whole thing with saying, uh, hopefully we get a fair trial and all the evidence is allowed to be introduced. Yeah, (laughs) But then uh, Homeboy from the Senate was saying, Mitch McConnell, was saying, he was saying, (laughs) you're not getting a fair trial. He said that. Off, he said that off rip. It's not happening. We're not giving a fair shot. Well, we know all, that already. Man. All they're doing is just rallying up. I think Republicans want this. You're just rallying up his troops. I agree. You're that's, just, that's you're my just fear. getting all the people that put him in office more excited to go to the voting booth. Well, here's the thing: is American <laughs> likes the underdogs. So now you're giving him the opportunity to be the underdog, the hated, the person. And, and you that's know what I mean? that's how he won in the first place. Exactly. So now you're just making it worse. I agree. I did like when the, the Republicans was like. Nah, we want the old school vote so we can hear some names. It's like, nah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. nah, we're not doing none of that. Yeah. 
they giving you my name so you can fucking ruin my life. We've seen what yeah. you did to the last fucking five people that tried to. Yeah. <laughs> Swerve. <laughs> Fed Tom. Yeah. <laughs> when When is all of this supposed to start? Theoretically, it's top of the new year, but yeah. we'll uh, see. They're going to push it. Yeah. As they do with all court cases. Yeah. All right, well, I'm looking forward to it. I think this is just a chess move, actually. I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't. I'm, I'm with you on that one. I, I don't think that they' trying to impeach him. I think that do. I think they're trying to weaken him before some shit. Yes. No, I mean, I think the same thing I said about his troops getting rallied. I think the Democrats are trying to do the same thing. I think they also might be banking on him absolutely losing his mind and saying wild shit in rallies, which he already started to do. I mean, I when, but when is when, is, when has that been a problem for him? Uh, it they, could be a problem if he goes more. too far. Well, I define think. too far. I mean, he already kind of started going too far, saying uh, homeboy that was in the Senate and served in the military and all this shit and died in the Senate uh, was McCain. in hell. McCain. Huh? No, he, McCain. I was about to say, he, he no, said, McCain, he said McCain, McCain, I like uh, I like my soldiers not captured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> During the election. Yeah, but that's fucked up. That is that's fucked OD up. That's OD fucked yeah. up. So what, where's the line? No, that's too far. Yeah, he's. I'm saying he's been he's been chilling past the line. Like that's where he hangs out. He's very past the line. You saying we need a new line? I don't think the line exists anymore. <laughs> yeah, the more that's wild valid. shit he that's says, well, no, the more the more votes he gets. No, there is a line because they're not letting him leverage American dollars and uh, resources uh, to <laughs> other countries. I think that's been going on since America started. <laughs> No, it but we're not letting him do it. We're not letting him do it. <laughs> he's to doing it. Yeah, he's doing it. And he will continue to do it. Yeah, but you have to do it covertly. I, yeah, I'm, I'm I, the wrong person to talk to because I'm so pessimistic about anything politic related. Me too. I think both sides are full of shit. That's exactly I think, why. I think both sides, even though they pretend to hate each other, work together. And I think this whole Fox News versus everyone is a facade. They're all on the same side. It's all to mm. fuck us. Valid. They said Fox News was running Chipotle commercials <laughs> while that shit was happening. <laughs> <laughs> They, they wasn't paying that shit no mind. <laughs> yo, you got yo, you gotta <laughs> admire, you gotta admire. Yeah, if you, I remember a time in my adolescence when I thought parents weren't weren't wrong. Of course, I remember arguing with my older brother about it. Of course, Absolutely. he was ten, I was five, or maybe I was ten and he was fifteen. I don't remember the five year gap, but we were in Queens. I'm like. Mommy's never wrong. Yeah. You don't know shit. <laughs> He's like, no, they can be wrong. Yeah, that's the fact. Right. But if y'all, if y'all, if I told y'all a list of things, I, the list of things that I just thought as a kid, you would understand why I'm stupid today. Like, I definitely argued with Michael Paul when we was both seven about how humans get here. Like, and he, he said, it's, he said it's through sex. Mm-hmm. Now, what'd you say? I said, Michael Paul, you think every human here is having sex? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, I should I, call I, him and ask him about that. I, I appreciate that you've been on the same planet since you were seven. Sex? What'd you say? I appreciate that you've been the same since you were seven. I'm gonna yeah. call him. <laughs> I think you mean to tell me every human, but at seven, y'all, what, y'all knew how niggas got here at seven. No, I didn't. I'm not at calling seven. No, not at seven. I'm I definitely because I'm sure he remembers that. But no, not at seven. But I say that to say it's so fascinating to me as you age, just how you see things like I remember being younger and I'm saying and hearing shit like oh they made Black History Month the shortest month and I'm like fam shut up you think right. we have any say in the months you think right. that's what they did right yeah yeah they actually do <laughs> I I think, that's exactly what they did I think <laughs> absolutely yeah no absolutely. We were told, when we got in the deep dive of the father conversation whatever episode that was when I realized I was like oh shit my parents they just, they just some people. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> like they just, that's just a dude. That's it. They met, they met you're not, you're not a guy. Yeah, you're not, a you just, you a, you a, yeah. you a guy that had a kid. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. That's why I'm. And, that's and, I, and I can take you. <laughs> <laughs> that goes back to what I said earlier. Just because niggas be having dads growing up, that don't mean they pops was the illest. So regular poop putt, man. Uh, I see the circle back you did. Yeah. Yeah. Just call call back. Did you just say, did you just say poop putt? Very yeah. Harlem of you. Don't do that again. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I'll stay tuned with this Trump shit. I, I don't have any more nah, to say. Not, I, I'd, call, I, I'd call my dad here, but I don't want to anger anybody out there. Yeah, no, 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 no. Please. <laughs> yeah, please. no, no. That's no, 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 no. not a political podcast. Yeah, yeah no, we, no, we're not doing that. Yeah. Yeah, um, your, your dad is way smarter than us. <laughs> he is really angry. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. more angry than we are. <laughs> yeah, he's been angry for a while, too. Oh, yeah. um, all right. What, what, what else do we got? What else is important here? 
ASAP Rocky dropped a sex tape. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. End of that one. ASAP Rocky dropped a sex tape. <laughs> dropped a sex tape. <laughs> like it was a single. In he'll, he, he'll drop anything but music, won't he? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. His last album was good. Really good, actually. Quiet is kept. It was a good album. Yeah, but, that's, but that's the one that got caught up in all that Kanye shit, right? Mm-hmm. That's the yeah. one. You know, it was around the same time. It was. He got caught up in the Kanye shit. What he got caught up in? They, they blamed ASAP for everything. Oh, no, that's not what happened. The, the, um, they did. The well, beef happened at that point. But um, Drake and Push. Drake and Push. Oh, and, and, uh, and and they blamed ASAP for everything. What did that have to do with ASAP? That took all the attention away from. All the focus was on that. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate, hate, hate hip hop. No, that's what it was. <laughs> I'm though, kill honestly, myself. What are Every, you everybody about? was talking about that Drake and Pusha shit at that time for months. Well, what does that have to do with us not talking about ASAP Rocky? Don't, don't be a hypocrite, Joe. You know that what means happens nobody's paying attention to the music. Is Everything being is focused, focused on, on another that. thing and your album Everybody's drops. focus was on that. Because he had a good album. It was. He, he put out a really good album. What does that have to do with people knowing that you put out a good album? They're not like, talking about it when because y'all coming in with this consumer fan bullshit. Yes, he put out a good album. gives a fuck if he put out a good album? That's what I'm asking. How what do, do people know? You saying that they didn't he, talk about it only because of the Drake and push shit? I'm saying, I'm saying niggas the, drop good albums every fucking day and, and don't get talked no, about. Don't. So why y'all well, make a reason now? No, nah, niggas don't drop good albums every day. First of all, what I'm what I will say and, is, and when you're in that if the degree biggest, of ASAP, if the biggest artist in music field. is if the biggest artist in music, did we talk about the ASAP album before that one? I think so. Yeah, I'm sure we did. Yeah, what is it? I'm sure we did. What is it? Long live, he, he, a, long he, live ASAP. He again. renames the albums the same. Yeah, I can't keep up with them. It's the same four words. Yeah. So he just remixes <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, I can't yeah. keep up with All the right, names of them. What's your favorite song off it? Fucking Problems was a, a smash <laughs> off that first album, or the second album. Wait, you're taking me to 2013? You asked his album before that, and I gave you the album before that. <laughs> All right, what else He's you right. got? <laughs> <laughs> Answering your question. Dude, I know. I know you all. <laughs> Look. Look. <laughs> <laughs> She's showing you the list. Yo, yo, yeah, and you can't get mad at me when it's live, I, live I, love I, ASAP, I, 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 live, I, I, live live ASAP. I can't get mad at y'all, man. At long last ASAP, I can't keep up with the it names. It wasn't part of it in 2011. Y'all don't knock it the fuck off with this bullshit. Look, t- all right, all right well, t- let me help y'all. Maybe y'all don't know. The reason that people didn't talk about ASAP Rocky's album is not because Push and Drake stole the thunder from him. It's, a, oh, it's definitely a part of it. What are talking about? That, that, yeah, that was Am a major I in the Matrix it. here, Parks? That was a major part of it, Joe. It was, that wasn't a major part of shit. We just wasn't fucking talking about ASAP. No, Joe, that's not true. All right, well, when was we talking about ASAP? Joe, we just said when his album came out, it was, in the, it was in the mix of all of that Drake and Pusha beef and all the attention he was on it. I don't care this much. That, that, that's that, all? I forgot I was doing this new silence thing. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot about that five just minutes that, after no, you no, said no, it. I forgot. Y'all, y'all, y'all get it. Cook. I didn't love that test of them, but that was just me. I liked it. So there we are. <laughs> and that's why I'm going to get a behind the scenes Joe Button podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's only Erickson and Savon that ever understands what I be saying. When the fuck was niggas talking about ASAP Rocky? What should I'm, be I'm for, confused. What, what should we, be for Rocky? No, I'm, I'm confused. We just nah, told you, you why nobody was talking about it. We're not like saying people were talking about it. We said we liked it. Yeah. No, nah, Joe got to be for Rocky. I'm going to figure he it out. He do. I don't. I just going. I'm gonna keep it a bean, and y'all not. Oh, y'all Eskimo brothers. That's why I get it. I love my Eskimo. I don't do that. What are you talking about? I love my Eskimo. <laughs> I did. I don't do that. You know how I feel about some well, how of my Eskimo like his, brothers. How you feel like that album wasn't good though? Mo- and how you? Well, how you not Mo- keeping it a buck if you like something? Yo, you know what's funny? <laughs> like, yeah. I, I have never said anything about the quality of the music. My point that I'm making is. We were not not talking about ASAP's album because Drake and Pusha were beefing. That's, and that's a it. major part of it, Joe. No, it is. wasn't. Yes, it is. <laughs> Joe, it came out the exact the exact same moment. And if and it, afterwards, if it didn't come after- out. We wouldn't have been throwing. Them. That's not true. All right, you act like Rocky is pra- not. Praise the oh. Lord, actually did numbers too. <laughs> after the album came out. All right, what we got? I'm silenced. Y'all may be right. <laughs> Y'all are right. I'm t- I'm trying to tell no, no, you. Y'all are right. That's exactly. I didn't see it Yo, what, a- actually, what date did the album drop? May 25th. It was the same weekend as... Uh, there you Dumpton. go. Never mind. So I mean, yeah. we ain't got to go through that. I'm trying to tell you. That's, that's what it was. It was the exact well, when the next album drop? Oh, now that I don't know. It, there is no next album. That's the last one. Yeah. <laughs> that I don't know. I hate these niggas. <laughs> I hate these niggas. You hate that we like an album? <laughs> yeah. I just said I didn't like yes, that album that yes, much. Yes, Maul. That's what I'm hating. So what are you How mad you at? How you enjoy an album. No. So, so why do you say you and, hate us? I'm and, you, and you hate us because we think ASAP is going to continue to make music? 
Yeah, like, I don't understand what you mad at right now. I, I've explained it, man. No, you did no, not. You, you just keep saying, I hate these niggas. That's what you keep doing. No, I keep responding to something, and I don't want to draw this out because I don't care this much. But his album could have been Thriller. The reason we were not talking about it is not Drake and Bush. And that's yes, it. That's, yes, my that only, is, that's my only point. The biggest okay. artist you in say you're not keeping it a buck. You haven't explained why. So say it. You just keep saying that sentence and okay. saying we're not keeping it a buck. Well, keep that, it a buck then. Because y'all haven't talked about ASAP Rocky music, 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 and eons. We spoke about this. Wait, don't have to not just y'all. There's a large community of people that have not said a fucking peep. About ASAP Rocky's music. So, so what does? Wait, let me finish. You said I didn't explain my point, so I want to try to explain it. Get your shit off. About ASAP Rocky's music in quite some time. Okay. Since probably fucking problems. So when you brought that up, no, I'm with you there. I don't disagree with anything you just said. My beef with y'all is a nigga is blatantly focusing on things. Other than music, which well, is allowed. Well, he, he Wait, let, legal, me finish, let me finish. Problems. Let me finish. Let he me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Man, this I'm talking about for mad years. You telling me about Sweden? What you mean? <laughs> he's a star, bro. He's a music. He, he's a he's a star in music. No, he's not. All right, we'll move, move on. He's not. All right, all right, move on. He's a star in the culture. He's not a star in music. He is a star in this culture. A bright right, so, one. So, a big one. So what's the difference? Never mind. I'm not doing this with y'all. No, tell me. No, because when y'all want to sound like idiots, I'm not doing this. No, no, no. First of all, I stick with my points. You are correct. ASAP Rocky is a star in the culture. Yeah, it's a bright a one. He's not a star in music. And I, I don't use the word so star. What's the difference? Just tell me. It goes back to our chance conversation of arenas. Those are stars. ASAP is a staple in music and a star in the culture. He's not a star in music. He's a trendsetter. He's, he's mad great things. Everyone stole their shit from ASAP. He's, I could make a family tree of yes. ASAP Rocky. Yes, I, so I, you, and I'm with him. So you think of so you think of if you think if Rocky announced a show at the Garden, it wouldn't sell out. No, no, nigga. All no. right, man. What else we got? <laughs> what the fuck is Maul talking about, man? Listen, they do. They I, do. I yeah, they do. What are you I saying can, I, right I now? Be, I'm just asking you a question. ASAP by himself, not the Ma, because they do the yams. They shit at the Garden and at Barclays, but it's a collective and it's it's for yams. Just ASAP, yo, I'm doing something at the Garden. That's what you saying? Yeah. No. I swear I hate when y'all make me sound like okay. a hater. Because that's all I'm saying. But that's fine to be a hater. There's no wrong with that. That's the only point I wanted to prove is that, <laughs> yo, it's not, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's not offensive to say that somebody that hasn't been focusing on music hasn't been getting his music spoken about. So I'm not just throwing that to, oh, the hottest two niggas in rap started beefing and we stopped talking about somebody like we were talking about them before in music. So I guess my point That's is... That's what I'm saying. Why are you mad that Maul and I like the testing album? <laughs> no, I'm not mad at y'all like Because that was album. really our only point. <laughs> I'm not arguing with y'all about what y'all, what <laughs> albums y'all like. I thought Y'all it was said really... nobody talked about it because of a beef and I think we're that was, I think that was a part of it. But I think... You remember this record? This was a big record of 2018. People were talking about ASAP Rocky. It's a good record. I like this song. Yeah. This was a really big record. Fam, he had a good out, a really good and album. And the album's great. The album was really good. That was like a little too electro for me personally. That's all. That's the only reason why. This was one of the better records of 2018. That's a good but record. It's cool. Yeah, I'm not arguing quality music yeah. here. He makes good music. I don't think. Well, that's, that's, I don't think ASAP Rocky. That's all I ever want to argue is quality music. <laughs> well, you'll never get that argument from me. I don't. I'm not ever of the belief. It was just a few pods ago I said anybody that could make it, I think 50 can come back out and still make a great song. Now, how y'all view that mm-hmm. is how y'all view that because maybe y'all viewing him different. But if you can make a great song, you can, always make, you can make a great song. Yeah. I think ASAP Rock can get in the studio at any time and make a great he song. He makes great music. <laughs> when he decides to make it. Facts. Yeah. Right. But I don't think that he just has his, uh, has a chokehold on uh, culture musically because he makes great music when he decides to make it. No. No, I don't I don't stand by that. He's, he's has his focus in other areas. Yeah. 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 All yeah. right, what else? We just went on a little ASAP tangent. We did. By mistake. You, you just want to talk about Cam's album or no? I would love to talk about Cam's album. I love Cam's album. I've listened to it twice, though, but I really enjoyed it. It's good to hear Cam. It's a good album. I, I Cam really back like it. to Cam. Re- really, really like it. It's a good album. I like that Cam picks uh, like happy beats. Happy I really piece. enjoyed it. This Bells is, uh, and whistles. Yeah, I mean they're just like it's major it's key shit. Like it's bright. Yeah, it's bright. It's happy. It's bright. They they don't try to do too much. Cam is the star of the song, and it's not hard. the beat. Yeah, no, they're hard. They're bright, it's just, but they're it's just, hard. Not many rappers pick 
major key sounding, bright sounding happy beats. Especially from like the ilk of street talk kind of shit that mm-hmm. Cam is. Mm-hmm. So I enjoyed it. I'll, I'll give my, my hot take that I gave Parks and Erickson on Cam. Not sure if I want to say Mount Rushmore because I don't know how many people are on, on Mount Rushmore. Six. Four. Seven. Four, six, nine. <laughs> nine, nine presidents. It's two. <laughs> it's a president. <laughs> Uh, I have Cam extremely high on my storytellers in hip hop history. I think that's fair. Mount Rushmore. Uh, y'all just trying to get me to argue with y'all. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I would put him. You're not putting Cam in the top four storytellers of all time. In I don't. I don't know if I'm doing that. I thought that. nine people were on Mount Rushmore. I don't know who's on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> it's four. All right, no, I'm not putting four. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Um, Cam is really high to me. He's high yeah, from from, he high. from Confessions of Fire, and I could go through his whole catalog Count and Rushmore. say. <laughs> <laughs> and say Cam is, is extremely high on the storyteller he's a great storyteller chart of rappers a lot well, of his songs are stories well since you walked me into this conversation give me your Harlem Harlem Mount Rushmore mm. got it L I want it from YouTube wait alright can, can you really tell me how many people are on Mount Rushmore four, four. oh four okay ooh that's tough Cam Mace L um y'all gonna Jim. make me y'all gonna make me do it <laughs> Jimmy is right there yeah Cam Mace L and Jim yeah. 100%. I'm trying to think, like, I'm going to think really, really that hard. That sounds think wrong. <laughs> that but sounds like someone's missing. Well, it's only four, so a few people are going to be missing. Rocky's from Harlem, right? Yes. But I wouldn't put him on the, over any of those guys. L, Cam, Mace, Jim. Yeah. I'm cool with that four. Don't you have to put Puff? I thought we were talking about like rappers, rapper, like rapping. Talking about the Mount Rushmore of Harlem. Well, well, right, so and, and, okay. and he has <laughs> rap, and he has rap albums. So today I'm gonna say Puff is from Mount Vernon. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm not doing that. You agree with uh, you agree with the Mount Rushmore more? Uh, yeah, I would have to agree with that. Got it. <laughs> While we're still on music, uh, Lil Fame and Sean Price put out a project today. They did yesterday. I listened to it once. Uh, it sounded. Like you would want it to. It sounded good. I don't think it's any uh, posthumous uh, piece together type things. I'm pretty sure it's. They did this while Sean was still with us. Mm. Oh, all right. So yeah. I'll, then I'll check like it out. he's in an interviews yeah. on the album talking about, yo, me and Fame got an album. He did all the beats. I'm God. going crazy rapping. Oh, God. I just all love right. anything yeah. Sean Price. So yeah, me cool. too. I'm and Lil Fame. And Fame. Yeah. yeah. And Fame's an underrated producer for what's worth it. He produced a lot of MOP records. That MOP shit is crazy. Yeah. Production wise. Yeah. It was the second back then. My memory is bad, but I feel like it was the second back then where he felt like he was about to get on his producer run. He was doing a lot of records for them and for other people too. Shout out to Fame. Shout out yeah, to Fame. Yeah, Fame is dope. Rest Whole in peace, Sean Price. Price. Rest in peace, Sean P. And rest in peace. Yeah, definitely. Um, more what's up? Roddy Rich. You yeah, we never talked about Roddy Rich. 100,000. Yeah, first got, Maul, let's get a round of applause yeah, for Roddy first and foremost, man. That's that's, that's good. Yeah, that's big. Really, really, really good album. I'm happy with the project. Nine hundred and eighty thousand short week. <laughs> what fifty <laughs> soul? <laughs> you and did it. it. <laughs> Yo, kiss is crazy. Yo, kiss is the man. That's how his diss track started with a congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. And then he proceeded to. You did it, baby. Congratulations, homie. You made homie. history. 1.1 million in, in a, a short, short week. week. <laughs> 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 Strong press conference. Yeah. Press this, this on, on your conscience. conscience. You gotta let it play a little now. <laughs> cheers. How you cheers? He had a he had a toast to Bridget somebody Glass. else's shit. <laughs> yeah, he didn't, I don't you don't sound mad at either, no. kids. You sound great. <laughs> oh you don't man, feel comfortable in your oh, he's doing skin. therapy. <laughs> In the, the garden, garden of Nassau. Nassau. <laughs> yes. When I see you. Mm. I never tell that much. All right, all right. <laughs> they don't even make disc records the same anymore. Or, but you ain't a predicate. Yeah, you be. But you live, live in Connecticut. Hey. <laughs> Hey, I wonder, this shit I, wonder feel good. I wonder if 50 go back and listen to this and be like this when this shit come on. <laughs> Four, five, my. Uh. Hey, never. 
<laughs> it's kind of still cool. Now, now I got <laughs> yo. I gotta melt you now. <laughs> Ain't gonna miss. Hold up. Hey, look, I did real, real songs, songs with big, big no nigga. nigga. Don't turn this off, Rory. Don't turn this off, Rory. Don't turn it. Turn this off, man, before I get mad anymore. Joe wasn't even coming outside <laughs> by uh, himself. All I'm going to do is puff smoke. Oh, uh, wait, no, no, I fucked my line. Well, I got a line from what? Wait, what's the line? Wait, you puff smoke. I smoke a puff. <laughs> I knew what she was trying to do. I do real songs with big, nigga. I don't fly I no just... vocals. I don't, I don't need the stems. Big was there. Yeah. How did we get on this? But I'm hyped. <laughs> shout out to... Play that shit again. Shut it on, man. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> be cool. <laughs> you don't tell a nigga to be cool. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, turn it off, 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 turn it off. Turn it off. And the mool. Yo, Kiss distrust. What's an animal? Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I thought Kiss was going to smoke Underrated. Beans. Well, I think Kiss and Beans was probably yeah, the they best were battle ever. Each other. I don't know, Paul. Yeah, no, I'm really saying, close. I'm saying before it start, before it commenced. Yeah. I thought Kiss was going to smoke. I think everybody did though at that time. Smoke. Beans Boots Beans. I think Beans, Beans was, was ready was, boy. He, was, he was the underdog In that fight for sure Beans was ready Yeah he was the underdog The disco beat Threw me off In that one Yeah I get I see it what he, I know back, what he I tried to do I, I see what he tried to do It was still I good see what too he tried. It was just, No no he killed <laughs> it was And it was hard yeah. yeah But Beans was on that bag <laughs> He was on that heavy bag Yeah for um, any of our younger fans, just go back and I guess YouTube. I don't know, where do they find that? Yeah, YouTube, Type on YouTube, yeah. Kiss YouTube. Kiss vs. Beans. Yeah. It, probably the greatest battle ever. Yeah. It's up there. And yeah. shout out to Roddy Rich, who we started the conversation with. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh, and, him and on we were talking about album. Fifth. Fifth loved that, by the way. The record? What, that, the record? That diss track. Of her? You have to. Yeah. It's hard. Loved it. Yeah. You don't have to. It's hard. It is. Shout out to Roddy Rich once again, man. <laughs> really, shout no, out to Roddy Rich. Really good album for sure. Really it is a good album. album. It was yeah. a good album. Tell us, tell us more. I like the Big Stepper record. I like uh, War Baby. I like uh, Perfect Time. I like the joint with um, Gunna, of course. Start with me. He got a lot of joints on here, man. Really good album. He's another one of those artists I see uh, once he starts to find his own sound and self a little bit more. Mm -hmm. He's going to be a, a, a superstar. Yeah, I like him a lot. I can't wait to see who's going to take like command of. Um, the next decade early. Like I yeah. feel like everyone that's had a chokehold on this one, it's kind of it's still there. No, they're still there, but they're chilling. Yeah, they're chilling. Well, Drake's still out here. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to worry about him once a year. That's what I mean. Yeah, I guess. If so. you're a new artist, you could find your own pocket to well, get true. out and cook <clears throat> without having to worry about the heavyweights. That's mm -hmm. true. Like so often. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I want to see which one of them is going to take advantage of that in I think him, 20, him in 2020. Him and Cordae and uh, I think who else? I think Roddy's going to be the cheat code for rappers that need a hook. I can see that. Seems that way. Yeah, I think he's going to be the cheat code. I, ho I hope he holds out. What Roddy? Yeah, I hope he doesn't hop on oh. everyone's shit. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Uh, I see what you're saying. I don't get that vibe from him. I don't either. And I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I don't know very much I don't but think I don't, he really f Fucks with people like that I, And I, I, that's <laughs> one of the reasons I really like him Cause mm -hmm. every time I hear him Or see him He looks so put off By the rest of us <laughs> Us mere mortals Yeah come us, on Us peons Yeah you know, he's not beat For this shit <laughs> and, and uh Shout out to Nip For being early and, and help put the kid on Yeah And again I don't know what The relationship with him And Meek is I don't know what happened But apparently Meek was early in this too Meek is Meek. We Meek have to with start the kids, crediting man. his ear and mm -hmm. his just link to the kids. He yeah. be knowing when the kids is fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Meek is very aware. Yeah, he is. Uh, all right, what what what? what I, I got totally thrown off with this distraction. I'm hyped now. <laughs> Come on. I, I'm, I'm ready. No, we got we got we to gotta get in the most important. Oh, uh, the newest drop. The oh yes, drop ever. yes, yeah. yes, yeah. What? Huh? Oh no, I see where you was going. No, I got to take us. 
Gotta take us to what really matters. The originators. Yo, you bitches is miracle, son. Mm. Talk to him, Rory. <laughs> Joe's. <laughs> talk, talk to him, Rory. Nah, <laughs> dead ass. Fuck Wait, you that. think Mo not hip? Oh, uh, Mo. Yeah, he just don't know. Oh, man. Well, let me give I you. Didn't a, hear it. Let me give you a little he, dose of Miracle Watts he, when she was he, sixteen. He's still, he's, he's still thinking Cash Doll is killing shit. Hold up. He Hold up, Mo. The streets. Oh, you want to hear Cash Doll's OG? <laughs> Meek Mo. Come on, you can't eat her. <laughs> hey. Bank card. You, anticip- you anticipated that line. <laughs> Do all no, the rap chicks owe Miracle that. Watts a percentage? Come on, man. <clears throat> man. 16 years old. I don't know how old she is. I don't know what year that was. Where's she mm. from? Uh, Houston. Houston? Yeah. Warning. I'm not a rapper. That line has to stop. <laughs> I think. Who, oh, wait. She she gave us an updated verse. I didn't see that one. Who else. invented that line? Beans? What? I only mm. believed it from him. Jay-Z said it, too. I hope what? A what was the line? I'm not a rapper. Oh no! He Ho- Ho- started that. Yeah, Ho- Ho- started that on volume one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I told you, cats, I'm not a rapper. rapper. Yeah, but he was he was rapping too ill. That didn't work on me. <laughs> you didn't believe him? <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> that nigga nah, was so, so, killing so, shit on sorry, there. Sorry, bro. You're a rapper. <laughs> yeah. When B <laughs> really came, like, yeah, I just started. I was like, oh, oh yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, this one makes right. sense. Yeah, I get this one. You killing shit too. Nah, she sounded good. I I can't lie. I didn't see I didn't see the the new one today of her. Yo, this is another one of those things I like to do when I'm alone. Like, the, look, at, look at Miracle Watch IG page. No, oh. the women I mean, that the, I'm with you. Solid, <laughs> no, no, no. solid. You some time. The the women that rap or the women that just attempt to rap, like when they are all right with it, and I'm not I'm not critiquing Miracle Watch right now. I'm not. That, that's not what's happening. But you know who's nice with it? You know who's as nice? Far as female rappers. Maggie Mano Mano's uh, old girl. You ever see her when she just drop a freestyle? No. Like out the blue? No. No, I haven't. I didn't even know she rapped. I'm gonna let me find one. I wanna find one. I didn't know she y'all, y'all y'all talk. But is she's, that the girl that was on Love and Hip Hop talking about making music? Or is this a different She girl? never talked about music on Love and Hip Hop. Oh, okay. I, I didn't even know I she rapped until you just said that. Yeah, well, you talk about his his current girl? I don't know if they're still together. That's why, oh, I don't, that's why I'm the one that was <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> shot at Irving. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, no, I I didn't know that she rapped. Oh, oh, she, no, she was trying to get it. That was like the storyline of Love and Hip Hop. I didn't really watch. Once once Joe didn't say anything for that season and I couldn't <laughs> laugh at him and he was just being quiet. I was like, all right, I don't want to watch this. Yeah, I remember her uh, saying she wanted to get on the song. That, that's what the drama was about. Okay. Yeah. It's probably from a party. Nah, she's spazzing. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, man. She got some bars. <laughs> Ooh, she got in the whisper bag. Yeah. <laughs> That's important. Nah, she, she going in. She good. Chop cheese yeah. every day. I was starving, nigga. Yeah. I can't Why believe Why put her on the song, nah, man? She, <laughs> no, that was like really good. Yeah. But seeing a pretty girl like that say that, I don't believe that. Niggas would have definitely <laughs> bought her something to eat. <laughs> you wasn't in Harlem eating chop. She too but pretty. Chop cheese is good. First of all, I'm not no, saying it's not, but no, I know no, I know no, a nigga in the studio influenced that bar. I'm not 
saying she ain't write some of that, but a nigga influenced that bar right there. <laughs> yeah, more such a hater, She man. too cute to be in Harlem eating chopped cheese. Chop a nigga would have chopped cheese every day. A nigga would have took that cute girl to Olive Garden, B. A nigga would have took that cute girl to Olive Garden, B. Niggas would have took she her to Red Lobster. a whole something. platter at Haji's. Fam. <laughs> she, that, that cute girl was not eating chopped cheeses every day living in Harlem. Damn, I don't believe that. Damn. It's too many niggas between she, she not living seven, on Lennox. No. <laughs> she ain't living that. Yo, look at that. Look one more thing she's yeah, not living on. Chopped cheese. Yeah, she wasn't eating chopped cheeses every day. No. Every day. That's a lot of chopped cheese. It's By a way. lot of niggas that was on her line like, I'll take you to Olive Garden right now. <laughs> you ain't yeah, but she this. didn't want to do that. Nah. She wanted to be on her own chopped cheese every day. She could at least like, got a, a little chicken cutlet sandwich every yeah, so often. Like, mix it up a little Don't do the chopped cheese. By the way, I love Maul's brain in the fact that she told us about her whole journey through foster care, going from <laughs> yes, yes. going from White Plains to the Bronx to Harlem. I could, I could like, believe all that. Like, but when you, you start telling no me chops. like, "Yo, <laughs> oh, geez, yeah, yeah, right. that pretty girl, yeah, told right. you wasn't eating no chop. That pretty girl was not eating no chopped cheeses every day. It was a bunch of niggas in Harlem ready to take her to go get something to eat. I'm not yeah, believing that. Well, listen, she sound good though. Nah, she killed that shit. She but that is why I like, I like just girls that don't rap when they just start <clears throat> rapping and it sound good. They yeah, got yeah, me a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Say it on beat and shit. Oh, shout out, to, uh, shout out to Nia Lee too. She put an album out. I didn't hear it yet, but I'm going to check oh, yeah. it out. I saw, I saw it on my uh, Instagram the other day. I got to check her album out. Did you wish her happy birthday? I didn't even know it's her birthday. Mm. Wow. It's crazy. Man. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, happy on, birthday, man. Nia. You got to do better. No, nah, happy birthday. It's the homie. You ain't Tim? Huh? See? <laughs> you said what? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's because she was at Austin for her birthday. Oh, see, I wouldn't know that. Joe would. That's the homie, though. I would know that if I was home. <laughs> Yo, now your birthday, she's going to go get a couple of dollars. <laughs> uh, see? I, I would tell y'all a real funny story about what happened to me when I was there, but I'm not. You went to the birthday party? <laughs> you know Joe was there. He there every day. <laughs> What'd you bring her? <laughs> I guess I was. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> yes. I didn't go, but I was there. Okay. I, I see what you did. No, I say, yeah, yeah, for my birthday. I'm like, oh, word. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, Mo is great, man. Why well, ain't wish her Why? happy birthday, Mo? I didn't know it was her birthday. I just said on the air, happy birthday, Nia Lee. I didn't know it was her birthday. Yeah, but give her a little bit of that J Bone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is stupid. What J Bone? What are you not, talking about? You're not going to give it up? No. I just Yo, said happy birthday. I didn't call you. <laughs> you already know that I adore you. I shouldn't have to say it. You already know how Maul do it. <laughs> 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 Yo, you wouldn't get the Maul do call you. Oh, you're so nasty. You know how Maul do. I, I, I hate that Joe think I would be that corny rapper, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't tell the audience. So let me tell the audience. In 2020, a lot of changes coming in 2020. <laughs> a lot of changes coming. Mm -hmm. One of these podcasts in 2020... We're all just going to come in here, Erickson included. Don't try to just record us, fam. <laughs> and write four bars. All Erickson, you got to speak in too. Spanish, though. Yeah, now you got to give us some yeah. reggaeton yeah, shit. Yeah, you got to give us some E-Balvin. E e yeah, yeah, yeah. E-Balvin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. You know what I mean? Ooh, E-Balvin. <laughs> but yeah, we'll all write four bars. I don't know if we'll deliver it that same day. I might niggas might need to live with they bars. <laughs> I don't like that recut. You, you want to recut? Yeah. I don't like that you try to box me into four bars though. Like you trying to hold you. That's, you not, even, that's yeah. not even my type. Because you don't even catch right. your stride into the seventh yeah, bar. Right. I could tell. You think you think the seventh one is when Rory kicks yeah. off? <laughs> that's when you start settling in. The four is yeah. just a setup. Yeah, yeah I'm saying seven. That. He settled into the B. He caught and, the pocket. And I'm gonna do a callback to the four on the eighty. Mm. The funny yeah. shit in my yeah. head. I do believe y'all should be able to write a verse. I do. I could definitely. I, I think I just I think, never sat down and try, tried to, but I can't. I'm more interested in the other stuff that goes with creating a song. I, I think that anybody, if you sit down and you put your mind to it, you can rhyme a few words. Absolutely. That, that's fine. Hell yeah. yeah. What, what type of beat are y'all picking? You know, I'm How do you want your chorus shit. to sound? You know, I'm How do you want shit. your song to begin? How would mm. you end it? No mm. fucking chorus. Like, those are the things that I, I know that about <laughs> you, parts. <laughs> We just let the I don't think ride. Maul really give him a, a hook either. I think nah, Maul, Maul gives a whack. hook. I give him a hook. Maul's giving a hook. Maul's starting with the hook, in fact. Mm -hmm. You want it up? I like yeah. to start with the end. Yeah, yeah. I got to hear. I got yeah, I got start. Like, I, I, I write my I bars the way Scorsese like, directs his movies. All right, we're going to keep going. He starts at the end. I just put myself in the same yeah, yeah. with Scorsese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's like no. random niggas be no, saying anything in interviews. Yo, like, yo. Like, yo I write my bars. Oh, my like God. Scorsese. Yo, no, 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 no. Damn, if you I don't knew, shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. I knew I had to tell y'all something. 
So you know how I'm, I always like talk about Ali Vegas. Like I'm a big Ali Vegas fan, right? Okay. Yeah. So I, I came across uh, Queen's Flip and uh, G Money's um, show. Shout uh, out to Flip Queen's the Script. Flip. Yeah, that, I love that show. Shout out yeah, to Flip the Script. Great, great podcast. So Ali, uh, Vague was on there. He was talking. Man, Vague got a bar off on them niggas, man. But I, the reason why I fuck with Flip is because he looking at Vague like, nah, you ain't going to keep talking to me like this, right? <laughs> Vague said, yo, you could tell when I'm not writing for niggas no more because you could, like, the, the music in the industry is just, like, is, is bad. He said, but when I'm back, like, you can hear, like, all the niggas are sounding good again. I said, wait, what? <laughs> like, so he, so Vague was basically saying when music is sounding bad, like when rap is terrible or R&B is terrible, it's he because, might be onto something. It's because he's, he's not writing for nobody. He's not, Vegas but when not it's, there? Yeah, but when it's like popping, it's like, yeah, I'm back writing. I mean, you that makes sense. You can't really now you think disprove about it. it. Yeah, now you, now you what? think about it. Can't disprove it. Yeah, yeah. just think just think about it. For Yo, a shout out to Vague, man. That was a crazy <laughs> bar he gave them niggas. I was in the crib dying laughing. Like, nah, how you gonna tell niggas, yo, when music is bad, that's because I ain't writing. That's, that's, that's me. But when it's sounding good, that's because I'm back. Right. Nah, you're right. Vague, we you're ain't right, heard right. a song from you. <laughs> so, so Vegas gonna write your four bars? If so? Ali Vegas sit down right now and write a verse, it's ill. Of course. That's a fact. Fam, I'm an Ali Vegas fan. I'm, I think I'm like the only nigga that still talks about <laughs> Ali Vegas. And that's my that's part of my problem with you again. Why? You think Ali Vegas could sit down and write an ill verse after however many years, and Joe cannot. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Um, not, I'm not saying you can't. I'm saying right uh, now. Maul is really nuts. No, no, I'm saying right now. Maul, like man. right now. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying like right now, if you was to be like, all right, turn the beat on, let me write, I don't think it would be as sharp as you could be because you're not, I don't think you would, unless you be well, that's, home. That's going to always be true if you're not actively right. doing Now, something. see, I think Vague, I think he still be pushing mm-hmm. his pen, but go. he well, just ain't putting nothing out. Because the game is in good shape right now. Yeah, because the music is sounding great. Yeah, so, so you obviously have to, you have to assume that Vegas back. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. music has been good. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Dan, so we ain't gonna get another Miracle Watch first. <laughs> Wait on it. Yeah. Yeah, she let Lyra Stay get all the shine it. out here. Now she's coming back. For Lyra, us. Lyra was up next on quality control. She fucked it up. Chill. All right, I'm done. No, that's it. Segway, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's, it's gonna be my four bars. It's the easiest New York rap beat to rap on. I'm getting my four off on this. Yo, if you trash, trash on this. Streets and neighborhoods. <laughs> mm, get off. Get off right quick. Turn down something. Uh, we're not ready. Um, 2020. Who did this? Harry Fraud? Uh, maybe. I mean, uh, mad people have sampled this. Yeah. But. <laughs> uh, you get off real quick. Sunset. 20, Yo. 2020. Started in Journal Square. <laughs> Now for the journal, gotta pay a square. Uh. <laughs> a nigga gotta pay him his cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Rory, get off real quick. Uh, a nigga uh, paying Rory his cigarettes for a uh, verse. Uh, <laughs> he don't even smoke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah nigga, pay him a square. Uh, shit. Shit. That's some funny <laughs> shit, man. For every That's journal, funny. gotta get a square. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm about to adjourn. You better get prepared. Yo, let's go, Rory. Adjourn him. <laughs> adjourn him. Yo, get just paid in adjourn cigarettes. Him. Adjourn him, Rory. <laughs> get paid in cigarettes is the funniest <laughs> shit in the world. You can pay a nigga in cigarettes that's free, though. Like, smoke. outside the wall. Like, a nah, nigga that's it was, outside the wall. That beat makes whole pack. anything sound great. <laughs> At least it was a whole pack. That, shit, man. that beat is hard. And Joe is going to stop saying, I'm from Journal Square. <laughs> All right, we, that's like, why that's like, the, we gotta stop this. What? You don't wanna be from there? Yo, I'm from Journal Wait, Square. You, you don't wanna be from there? No. <laughs> Journal Square. I keep saying Parks is from Buffalo. That's true. What the fuck no, you I don't, want me to I don't do? fight it, but <laughs> every verse starts with yo, Journal Square. Uh, <laughs> ain't Journal Square just like a train stop or something like that? It's but, a square. It's okay. a square, yeah. It's, yeah. It's four, four there, I mean, it's a train stop, but. And it's got like little sh- little stores and, and, and shit. And first of all, get busy over there. I could I could rep <laughs> I could rep Journal Square. Hold it down. Listen, I don't be trying to be funny. <laughs> I've had plenty of hostile <laughs> situations. <laughs> no, Journal Square is not to be played in, with. Right in oh, Journal yeah. Square. Uh, and that little bus stop, you, when I was young, about to board the bus, and you, you see a nigga you have beef when he get on the same bus. That's where that happened at, right in Journal Square. Yeah. And you think Journal Square is Journal Square is sweet until you just hit like Bergen in Journal Square, and then it's like. Now you're dead. <laughs> now you're dead. Now you're yeah. dead. It's a quick walk. You think you can walk home? No, you're dead. 
That's funny, man. It's funny how one split decision you just could kill you. Absolutely. Oh, I, thought you, I thought you were about to get in your bag. Uh, yo, jump off. In a New, Jer- a new Jersey minute. <laughs> that don't even sound the same. Yo, jump off. <laughs> let's cut, wait, Rory, let's cut it off for a minute. That's because I don't say it anymore, Mo. Right, and you man. know that's what I was saying. I know, oh, two. I now know. you want I know, I know, 20, 20, man. I know. 18 years I just, later. All I said uh, was it don't even sound uh, the same 18 no more. years later, though. You skipped that part. Yeah, you're right. You skipped right. that part. Right, you and that's my bro. Because that's. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got a lot, man. Come on, man. I ain't sick of this thing. I ain't even doing that. All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. How about that? <laughs> yeah, we can wrap this. Oh, no, 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 Angie, no, 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 I, no, no. No, I got you, Joe. Shouts to Ange. Uh, Welcome back. It's been a long, uh. I got you. You know I'm coming in with some corny talk like, yo, it's been a long time. <laughs> Sh- Shouldn't have left, left you. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, Mike check one, two, one, two. Yo, Park, show me up headphones. <laughs> yo, feel this shit right here. <laughs> hey, hold up. This little sample be getting me hype. Uh, uh, yo. <laughs> That's where you went? <laughs> this beat ain't really taking me in the direction, uh, you know what okay, I mean? Okay, yeah. Producer, my bad. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny when you're a rapper and you coming up. You coming up, so... You ain't really got shit, but you know you got to drop a few lies in, in your bars. And, like, so you got to go and learn the lies. Like, you got to go find out what the new car is that you ain't got. <laughs> hey, Yo, this I, is rapper envy, shit I'm sharing. Rappers, y'all feel me out there. No, y'all I, understand what I'm saying, I envy, God damn it. I envy so much that rappers are just, it's okay to just be a liar. Yeah. Like, yes. Down from internal to I'm going to the studio or that video girl is not, I don't know her. All the way to everything you talk about. Everything. I wish I had the luxury to, ev- like, every word that comes out my mouth. All right, you was rapping. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's how it goes. Yeah. Now, you can get that off for you. Now, you just play. I was creating. I was podding. Mm. That's all. Mm. I was just podding. I was podding. She got yeah, to you know. understand. She got to understand. She got to understand it. Got to understand. Uh, I want to say uh, congratulations to Angie Martinez. So glad that uh, she's back. She's well. Mm-hmm. Um she posted something. She said, there are no words to thank you guys enough for the amount of love and prayers I have received over the past uh, <clears throat> couple of months. But my heart is full and my spirit is strong as fuck. And I can't wait to get back on the air January 7th. Angie, we are glad you are well. Yes. We yes. love you. We Lo- mi- love we you, missed Angie. you. And just super glad that, you know what I mean? Everything is everything is good with you. And Angie, then, I need an invite to your cookout this year, too. <laughs> I'm kind of with you, more. Yeah. I felt away last year when I saw all the fun. Nah, I ain't feel away, but it's like, all right, this year I need a, I need an invite. Yeah, you can get an invite. Yeah, year. I need an invite. All right. I'm telling you, you Love- need an invite, man. I got you. Thank you, bro. Love to Angie. So happy yeah. that she's recovering. All in you great do way. is puff smoke. You really smoke with puff? I was really there. I know. <laughs> you just listen to pop smoke. Mm. I, all I do is pop smoke. Mm. Mm. Get your shit off, Rory. <laughs> I did real songs with Stack. Mm. No made up shits. True what? story. I gotta tell him. Rest mm. in peace, Stack. Definitely, and rest in peace, Chinks. It's fucked up. I can't think of them apart. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Bino, what up, nigga? Shout out. Bino listens. I fuck with Bino. Ever. That's my dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love Bino, man. It's, it's fucked up. Don't get me sad thinking about yeah. all that shit. Uh, nah, Bino doing great, chilling. He minding his business. I'm sure he is. He just misses his niggas. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying his Bino's doing great. Got it. That's what I'm Good saying. Um, I don't have anything else that I really need to discuss here. Uh, the holidays are coming, and y'all know it. The end. Yeah. Oh my God! I, that's what I, yo fam. It's Friday, Friday, one thirty. I'm out thinking I could be out like I normally can mm-hmm. at Friday at one thirty. Mm-hmm. Everybody in the world is outside at Friday at 1 I'm asking the driver, I'm like, yo, so what's up? Like, what's that? I totally forgot about Christmas shopping. Yeah. yeah. I totally, because I'm not doing it. I think it's not happening, and I'm wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah they no. out there happening? fucking out there. the streets up. I hate it. You're the only Grinch. I would, no, I just need to be notified when all the people <laughs> who work like corporate jobs or nine to fives take off at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Friday. I don't Friday. think that's fair. They don't put that on the news. Yeah, the weekend okay. before Christmas is usually that time. Yeah. 
Yeah, but then they sneak with the Friday off. That's my. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The mall was jam packed. I went to Capitol yeah. Grill trying to get my lobster bisque. All the white folks in there. <laughs> you know what y'all First got of all, don't ever look at me and say lobster bisque. Lobster <laughs> bisque is delicious. And and that one at Capitol Grill. I'm not. I, I'm not saying it's bisque. not. But just don't look at me and say uh, lobster bisque. Okay. Don't do that. Don't talk I, to me like I that. saw a tweet today that said, "The older I get, the more I understand that the Grinch wanted to live on a mountain alone with his dog." <laughs> I totally get it. It's no, true. I, I get it. It's, I felt true. Yeah. it's true. I get it. One hundred percent. The Grinch had it right. <laughs> he yeah. definitely did. We were wrong. Yeah. Another five, ten years, I'll be up there in Westchester somewhere. <laughs> For real. One Word. of the mountain areas. Where do y'all want to? Uh, where do y'all want to retire? Upstate a little bit. Mall, Rory. I'm going right to Guyana. Well, that's happening next week. <laughs> yeah, we booked the flight. Yeah, you're out of here, buddy. <laughs> um, you're not coming back. Can I call into the pod? <laughs> I wanted to pull that move today so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to hit you and say, "Yo, please, don't just hold it down." I'll call. That would have been understandable for you, though. Um, yeah. We would have held it down. You could have done that. I know. Yeah, well, I didn't want to ask you. Yeah. I like San Diego a lot. Me too. I'm not mad at that. San Diego is really beautiful. Yeah, I love San Diego. Diego. Seattle's kind of on that list with me too. But San, San Diego is on the list of places that I feel like you have to have money to go to. Like to live in, um, to really probably. enjoy it. I don't Maybe. know it's enough beautiful. about it. It's beautiful out there. Yeah, San Diego's really beautiful. Uh, Arizona on the low too. Yeah, it's a nice. It's just too hot, spot. bro. That shit is like. Too nah, you go up, you go in the mountains and be freezing. That's why I love Seattle. You can go out there with money and have a blast, and you can go out there broke and have a blast. Yeah, because yeah. there's no blast. No, nah, you got Seattle. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, Seattle's fun. I'm just you, joking, you got, man. Seattle's very fun. I'm I joking. Seattle. I'm jo- I, I, I like Seattle. I'm just joking. You must not have been there in a while. Seattle is, Maybe is like Seattle six years ago. Yeah. Seattle's like Seattle's ahead of the rest of us. It's just nice. I like Seattle. It's just nice. But that's because they had Bill Gates out there, a whole lot of money funneled through there. They had a whole bunch mm-hmm. of fucking music history. It, it's culture there. I don't yeah. know why they don't. I don't know why they took the Sonics. <laughs> Great weed. Yeah, that they too. should probably that put too. a team back there. They really should. That, that I miss the Sonics. I like the Sonics back then, back in the nineties. Me too. But just in that market, shouldn't they have a team? I mean, besides so. the Seahawks, they have the Seahawks in the Mariners. No, a basketball team. Yeah, 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 yeah they should yeah. definitely have a basketball. They should move the Thunder back to Seattle. It's a Rory know. production. I don't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> you wasn't us, huh? I wasn't, but <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I, was I bought this single. <laughs> yeah, I bought the single down south. He was real big down south. I think he was real big everywhere. I was just down south. <laughs> <laughs> well, why are we playing this right now? Seattle. Maybe I'll turn this shit the fuck <laughs> off, man. Seattle Rory got so much fire. <laughs> <laughs> Seattle got fire over there. Yeah, they do. I love Frazier. If you don't throw a Jake one beat on, <laughs> goddamn it. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> um, oh, my bad. I would have played Macklemore. I didn't know. My bad. Some no, Pearl no, Jam. Oh, my God. All right. We ended this podcast. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I don't, I don't have nothing else here. All right. Legendary. Wait, suck my dick out of hand. Red Man is the greatest. Yeah. Oh, Red Man, yes, yes. Another one I'd like to have just come up here and come up here and. Oh, he would be perfect. That would be great. Just, he's hilarious. Why these niggas won't come kick it with us? Well, we didn't ask. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, and the fans hate it. Yeah, <laughs> any, Anytime somebody kicks it with us, I feel like Red Man would be one of the people that. They would like you to. can't hate Red Man and you yeah. can't hate Ghost. Red Man is fucking yeah. hilarious. Ghost is hilarious. Yeah. The problem, listen, the people that we have come up here are hilarious too. They just refuse to be hilarious to the public. That's true. Like Fab is really funny. Yeah, but Fab is in his rebrand. Push is really funny. The rappers don't want to be funny. Push had another agenda that night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't feeling funny that night. No. <laughs> I think Red and Ghost would come up here and be funny. Ghost I've face is never funny seen just... Ghost be funny. You've never seen him? I've never seen him be funny. Well, that's Ghost because you were naturally. you guys had yeah. a relationship where like he it just, wasn't funny. He just, yeah. <laughs> just watching Ghost is just funny. Like the shit that he just does. Not to Joseph Anthony Button Jr. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. It, it comes off as scary to you. No. Ghost has always had the demeanor of not me. Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe somebody else. Whenever how, when whenever how many that, years even ago? Even when all that rage shit popped off. It was like a huge purple tape fan, love Ray, but we could take it there. Not with Ghost. <laughs> Whenever, how nope. many years ago no, we did the the goon list of rappers, Ghost was the first person I brought up. 
Like the rapper that's not lying? Yeah. <laughs> I think I came up here one time and talked about uh, me seeing Ghost in the airport right in the smack middle of all that Wu-Tang bullshit. He was like, you all right? That's all you had to say. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, whenever a nigga tell you, yo, you all right? Yeah, you good? Yeah, thanks. thanks, man. Thank, thank you. I, I didn't feel all right. I didn't feel all right, right until you said that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You going to purposely miss your flight? Hey. <laughs> I'll fuck the rest of you niggas up. Y'all better not play with me, but I was good to know I was all right that night. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and every real dude, I don't care. You've been in a situation where, man, it was good to be all right. Oh, absolutely. That's absolutely. nice, man. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yo, y'all could have did it to me right now. Yeah. yeah. But thanks. <laughs> it's appreciated. Thanks for it didn't, it didn't go unnoticed. Thanks for letting <laughs> me keep my legs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't visibly show the appreciation because I'm yeah. a man. Yeah. But I noticed it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for letting love, me keep love, fuck love with my life. Thank you. Thanks for letting <laughs> me keep my, my my hands. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't fight the dude with an eagle bracelet. Yeah, where I'm no. in, a, in a robe. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> in All a robe. Way good. Who only talks about killing over soul beats? Right. <laughs> Put on some nice Teddy that's, that's the one you don't talk crazy. That's the guy you don't play with. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Nigga, smoke you to some Teddy P. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we out of here, yeah, man. Love, love to ghost. <laughs> Absolutely. Just, just want to make that clear. My favorite no, rapper no, I'm going to play all his hits right now. <laughs> yeah, hey, hell yeah. Play this love you, dis- Ghost. Discog. You're in my, you're in my top 10. <laughs> yeah. Ghost is in my top 20. My personal top 10. He's in my top 5. Personal. I know. He he's might be my favorite. He's might be my favorite rapper. Ever, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know right. nothing wrong it's with ghost, it. Man. No apology. No, nothing wrong with it at all. <laughs> yeah. Listen, man. And that's I, without Wu Tang. Yeah. I'm talking, I'm talking about, about solo, solo shit. Yeah. yeah. One day, all of us will be brave enough to accurately rank Wu Tang in order. I could do that. Yeah, I think I could. I can't. I could do it. The thing know. with Wu Tang and how dope they are, you're kind of not wrong no matter how you rank it. <laughs> well, it's also the difficulty is like people that had solo careers versus didn't. Or big solo careers, I guess. Yeah. Like, Deck is probably one of the best in Wu, but he didn't have, like, the most... Deck, Deck had the best verses when they was together. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't have the biggest solo career. Yeah. It's fucked up. We got to change how we judge rappers, man. It's hard. Why? Because that's true. Like, what Parks is saying is true. Like, you didn't perform as a soloist the way that we know you to perform in a group, and we hold that against you, even though the way you put words together... At and, one point, we notch. deemed, yeah. yeah. And a lot of that, that was, fucked, that was, was politics, too, because I can't put that on deck. That's what I said. <laughs> Not at all. That's why I say anytime an artist is like fucked up, yeah, you might you might be whack, but you might have some politics going on, too. That And that's just why I say we got to. I, th- I think the deck solo career was judge. was definitely politics before it was deck not putting out a solo. Like when the sports yeah. when the type sp- career. His first album was actually pretty dope, Uncontrolled Substance. Like, more when the sports niggas is talking all of day, geeky analytics numbers stats and then they get into the eye test we don't do that in hip-hop okay we don't do the ear test <laughs> right we don't just do all right everything aside what do you hear all right mm. and that and that should happen more it maybe mm. shouldn't be the status quo but it should happen more um should. with that said i'm playing this again we out of here man i really enjoyed this podcast i I, 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 I I be honest i plan on coming in here and getting right out of here and not really talking about too much <laughs> But somehow we talked about a lot of meaningful shit that I enjoyed. Yeah, right. yeah good, good up. Thank you, Jack. The Kings! <laughs> <laughs> fresh, ah. fresh off the beacon giving you this content. Yeah, man. I know. I'm trying to have a social life, and they it's all over. think I'm lying. It's over. <laughs> Yo, what you doing now? Podding? Right. <laughs> but didn't you just pod last night? Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right, what's up Monday? More pods? Right. Mm-hmm. More pods. More than one? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Three. Yeah. It's just More fucking, pods. And trying to explain why are you there for six hours? Yeah. It takes that long. That's the other thing. <laughs> to talk? Yes. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Carl Cherry. He hit me, man. He hit me and was like, yo, shout out to y'all because podcasting is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> yes, it is. Is it? Yeah. I love that revelation from podcasters. Yeah. By the way, that, that, that's one of my favorite compliments. Shout out to Carl Cherry. Good dude. Yeah, he is 100%. Good dude. Oh, we shout out to Math Hoffa too. He was at the show last night. He showed love. He, oh, Math was there. Yeah, yeah. He said, to "Oh, shout out to Math, stuff. man." Yeah, yeah. It's my put, put Math on the list. It was good to see him. Yeah, I like what he's doing out there. I like his show. Mm-hmm. Doing numbers. The battle rappers appreciate it. They like the platform as well. Yep. I'm telling you, not to not to pat myself on the back, but a, a me everywhere would help. Like Math is me in battle rap. Mm-hmm. Ti is me in Atlanta. 
bun is me, not me, because I'm not that much of a narcissist, even though I am, but <laughs> just niggas, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I know. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. And, I, and I like it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Disruptors. Yeah. Yeah. Disruptors. All right. We out of here. Come on, Cam. We out of here. Thank y'all for listening. We will. We, 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 we did I like it. I like you. it. And then finally, some support from you. Yeah, like <laughs> we did, 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 did. Look what you support. Me sounded like That's little. True. I support you even through your mistakes. See? Mm. You ain't even read that bar I gave you. Go ahead, man. We, close, we, it. close it. Yeah. Yo, Ali Vegas right now. Close it. <laughs> <laughs> y'all want to thank y'all for coming out. God bless you. Good night. God bless you. God bless you. Good night. Yo, life is a series of moments and moments past. So let's make each one last as if it's all we have. Keep us in your prayers because Lord knows we need to be there. And until the next time, do remember. Do remember. <laughs> I got to work on my clue impersonation. Uh, do remember. That was a horrible. Yeah. <laughs> It's really an injustice to hip hop that Clue did absolutely nothing with his vocals. What do you mean? Like the do remember? <laughs> like all of that. And uh, whatever was classic that he did that is dead, that's an injustice to hip hop. It is. He should Let's still be table making... this because I'm curious what you mean by that. We should table that because I think that's he means a that big... he's not that... still doing mixtapes or anything on that level. Oh, you but mean the... his actual well, you know, voice? Have... I thought you talked about his actual vocals. Well, that's his vocal. Yeah, it's his vocal. We're going to get into this. Let's table this one. All right, let's do it. I think this is a really, really good conversation. Yeah. We should. Remember save that. On, save on. Write this down, please. Like, for real. <laughs> yeah, so we can really address it. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, remember that girl is not cute. She's very young and you're nasty, nigga. Get away from her. Uh, <laughs> the girl is not thick. She's on her tippy toes or she's thick and you're going to take her out. Damn, this record stopped. Oh. There we go. Uh, the, uh, the girl's not thick. She's on her tippy toes. She doesn't have hips. She's on a bed, sink, or some other flat surface. The girl does not have a sense of humor. She grew up with brothers and stole their jokes. She's not bisexual. She's tricking you. Run. Don't do it. Uh, what else did I have there? Oh, it's not woman's intuition. She went through your phone. Uh, she's not healing. She's hoeing. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Well, maybe she's healing by hoeing. Either way, it's wrong. <laughs> and last but certainly not least she is not protecting her energy she is screaming at me every Monday storming out of the park <laughs> <laughs> making a scene when there's no reason to create one <laughs> why does this record keep ending when I'm trying to end the podcast <laughs> uh, she's not protecting her peace she is avoiding accountability failing to realize how her actions have a negative effect on not only her life but others as well Everybody enjoy the weekend. We will be back on Christmas. Yeah. And that's that. Damn, Cam couldn't afford that. Nah, we come back. Hannah! We come back before Christmas. Horrible right? Christmas impersonation now. of that. Christmas. Christmas mall. Yeah. Christmas Day we come back? There's yeah. a calendar in your phone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at the Kings. Look at the Kings telling you it's a calendar in your phone. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, Wednesday. Oh, shout out Kim. Great album. <laughs>